can't stress that enough, you know, because I don't yeah. really need I don't need to be getting a ticket sent in the mail, you know, because it was an accident that I have and I was a rookie pilot at the time and you know, I did I knew the rules but I didn't know, you know, like that little thing was gonna go up that high, you know. So I know I'm even surprised when I take my spark up to even four hundred feet and like Jesus thing's about to fall out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, the one I am surprised with. I'm telling you, and 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 uh, Bill will even say, I mean, this this guy is amazing. I can't believe how well this thing flies. When you get a good one of these uh, bugs, yeah. too, uh -huh. oh, they are they are amazing. I flew over the ocean, and that signal bounces right off that ocean, so you really get a clear signal, and don't you know you don't have to worry about drop offs, you know, and. Uh, I love flying really good, over water. Yeah, I love flying over water. And you know what? Using the Bugs 3 little camera thing, mm -hmm. hey, it worked out good. And use a little bit of stabilization uh, when when you go and uh, drop a video. You know, yeah. It's almost kind of like having a gimbal in it. Hey, this thing hey, did hey, really well. Here's Mr. Steven who just joined us. Hi, Steve. Oh, Steve uh, hello. What's hello, happening? Oh, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, yo. How's it going? What's up, brother? I seen your parrot. You you all know. We've, been, we've been live for about two or three minutes now, and we got five viewers <laughs> working on it. Welcome Ooh. everybody. Thank you for tuning in so far. We're going to do a episode eight reboot. Kind of it was my mistake last week. Everybody had their Thanksgiving stuff on, and then people were trying to get with family and everything. So we just kind of did a happy Thanksgiving shout out and. We decided to come back and kind of start things over again this week. And as you can see, we're joined by Mr. Billy Kyle. Stephen Merritt's going to help us out with the chat and give us some input. And later, going to be joined by Mr. Drone Worship himself, Daniel Sampson. And John is going to be out tonight because he's got to get some schoolwork done. And John, John, get over here, buddy. He'll hear about that schoolwork as, quick as soon as he can. But please don't forget to check out his channel and everything. And we're going to go yes. ahead. I'm going to go ahead and then hit some shout outs. I'll give all the other guys a chance to give some shout outs. And we'll knock them out of the way first. I was going to give a shout out to Mr. R.C. Hunter, Mr. Dave Grima down there in Aussie land. And let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll call to Mr. True Drone Reviews, who I wish was yes. here with us tonight, but we don't seem to be able to hook up with him. Maybe we can get him in the future. And I will pass off to Mr. Donnie Hampton. Maybe he's got some shout outs too. Hey, what's up guys? Yeah. Perth West Oz. He's a, he's a pretty good guy. You already said him, which is cool. He's a great guy. Um, you know, another guy that, uh, is, is pretty cool guy. And I know he goes and, uh, watches a lot of your guys' stuff is the flying, uh, tech RC. I don't know if you guys know Phil, very nice guy. Yeah, He's, uh, does a lot of that SEMA doing the uh, FPV flying and things like that. Really cool guy. Uh, you know, he's always out there. You know, he's always watching. And, uh, you know, we got uh, who else we got out here? God. Hey, David Smith. I see you saying hi in here. Uh, we've got so many of you guys out there. You know, I would read off my whole sub list if I had it. You guys know, <laughs> you guys know who you are. And I thank you guys every day, every time I see and talk to you guys. So if I don't see your name on here, doesn't mean I don't care or love you, man. I love every one of my subs. I appreciate it. I, I, uh, if we're really gonna blow it out here and get emotional, I am. I, I, I gotta go I now. Subs too. I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I really pretty do. much. Uh, yeah, yeah. But really, you, everybody that I hook up with, my whole running crew, everybody. I love everybody that I'm with. All I want to do is make it so that we can all fly drones and we all get along and we can all be rich would really be yeah. a side benefit. <laughs> well, you guys know what Heath would. Oh, Donnie went in the freeze up again. Again. Oh man, we might lose him. Well, yeah, he might have to do a reboot I, again, folks. I had a question to ask him too. Well, hopefully, hopefully things will work out. He can just drop out and come back in. Let's see what we got going on in the chat here. Oh, hey, Bob's here. Bob, the Bob, you know, he's he's a good guy. He does a lot of trapping videos and stuff that are really cool. Plus, he does a lot of technical work with stuff. Uh, Drone Wolf Media. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hey, I, uh, coming back anytime. 
Go ahead, Bailey. What? I got followed by some guy on Instagram. His name is like Frank the Forklift Guy or something like that. And all he did was post pictures of forklifts. I don't know why I found it so funny. I got to look this guy up. Forklift manufacturer. I think he was a forklift mechanic. And you're talking about giving shout-outs. I want to give a shout-out to him. Well, not just that. What about your crew? You're running buddies. It doesn't forklift. Have- His Run- name is Forklift Frank. I got to give a shout-out to Forklift Frank. Forklift Frank, yes. But what about your crew that you go shoot videos with? Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, okay. maybe he'll send you a forklift. <laughs> that would be nice. Look at, this. Look at this forklift. That thing's lifting. I can't even lift it up that high. It's charging. Look at that forklift. Uh, yeah, I'll give them a shout out. I haven't been out shooting with them recently, though. I've kind of been running solo. Um, yeah, because yeah, it's understandable. Like we discussed earlier, you have a steady girl now, and you're- well, yeah, no, it's not. It's not just that, but I've been running. Uh, I've been running solo when I go out to shoot places, and I've also been really trying to keep up on just the regular YouTube uploads because there's like so much going on right now, especially with like seasonal Christmas deals, all that stuff. It's just like so crazy. Okay. uh, Since we're waiting on Donnie to get back before we do his SEMA X8 Pro GPS public service announcement, uh, I was talking to the guys before we got started. Uh, The one cool news thing that I saw that came up was a company called C5 Works has created um a tethered drone with mercedes motors and stuff in it which is really cool <laughs> it's, it's had well i just thought it was awesome because they've had 100 successful flights not a single burned out motor no issues whatsoever it is a tethered bird to the ground that will, can send back telemetry uh surveillance video it's they showed it it can actually track vehicles and send back instantaneous data Uh, It can fly for up to 220 hours before they have to bring it down, just, I guess, for basic service reasons. Uh, And the girl who uh, basically helped found the company was Helen Grenier. She founded iRobot, the people that made the Bombo robot, you know, vacuum cleaner and stuff for your room. Yo, I've got... I've got one of those at my dad's house, and they are awesome. Like, I just have to say, they... And you get the job done. <laughs> well, and then she she invented they invented something called a, a pack bot or something for the soldiers in Iraq and stuff. I don't I don't know for sure, but anyway, so she's gotten into this business because she sees the future. Because mm-hmm. one of these um, forecasting agencies has actually seen the commercial drone industry to boom in the next ten years to be anywhere from say a hundred to one hundred and twenty seven billion dollar industry. I would have to agree. So, I mean, it's I, and this is something that I've been wondering is not only am I seeing more drone commercials online, I don't know if I'm seeing these commercials more because like I'm more involved and like they kind of track what you look at online and then they have ads towards drones and stuff like that. But I know that they have like Donnie's you know, back, Donnie's back, Donnie. Uh, yeah, you know what? For Christmas, I want a new PC. Anybody? Or a little ice on that. You're real foul with that. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god get me a computer man this thing's running off of wi-fi and it sucks running off of wi-fi well we were talking about that earlier you got to think you're right at peak time for your yep. whole apartment complex so everybody's like going oh. fire up the netflix <laughs> that, yeah it is and everybody's everybody's running off the same gigahertz and everything too because these things these routers go right to 2.4 gigahertz is what it normally runs so you know Everybody firing up at once. It just can't handle. <laughs> we were just talking about it, it. It's it's ugly. It's ugly, but just run it straight Ethernet. It's ugly. It's yeah. ugly. I know you're saying it's ugly. Just run it straight Ethernet. Just run around the corners. If you don't want to do a good job, just run around the corners of your wall. Get, <laughs> get a 100-foot cable, run around the corners of your wall. They're pretty inexpensive, too, 100-foot Ethernet cables. Not the, well, but still, but. He's got a point, though. It doesn't have to be pretty, and it's going to get you a constant bandwidth. You won't have to worry about fighting for anything. You won't have freeze-ups like that. I got a, um, I got a Wi-Fi uh, repeater coming, and I'm going to use it for the Parrot Bebop, and it came with two of them, so I'm going to use the other one for the house. Huh, that way I can, good idea. That way I can pump up the signal a little bit and hopefully not have any dropouts, so I'll have two of those. They should be here in a week or so. 
So hopefully that helps. And plus, too, we got a lot of people that are on uh, in the house here. I'm sure everybody upstairs is probably on there using the Wi-Fi right now, too, from yeah. Netflix to to uh, gaming to you name it. So we got probably about six different uh, things going on at once in the house alone. So, you know. So, Donnie, you are a, uh, you're a San Francisco 49ers fan? Yes. Chip Kelly came through and destroyed your team, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I can't believe that, uh, you know. He's going to if UCLA. The Oregon, if, the, if the Oregon Ducks would get rid of uh, a guy, you know, and I, I like the Oregon Ducks, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden the Niners pick him up. I, I don't I, – that just blew my mind. I don't know what was going on there. Well, he went he went from the Ducks to the Eagles. He was with the Eagles first. Oh, came was through, he with the Eagles? Yeah, came through and decimated our team. I mean, just totally, totally traded away everybody that was good. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. I don't know then what he, the hell was going then on Then he went to the 49ers. Oh, my yeah. goodness, we're talking about football? Football. What happened here? Uh -oh. Something's yeah. talking about talking about Chip Kelly. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We want to go there. It's like talking politics when you talk when you bring up that name. <laughs> I know. Well, when you when when you go right to it, he's talking about his hat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Stephen, for I had yeah I had had a had a uh, a honeydew moment there. Had to go check on <clears throat> one of. But anyway, so what we were gonna do last week, Donnie has had some issues with the new. SEMA X8 Pro GPS bird. So he wanted to come on and discuss the issues that he was having. So uh, if you'll bear with us, I had an idea that we would, basically I would stream his video and he, anyone who had questions or anything could comment on it. We could get your input from the chat and stuff. Uh, but he wanted to make sure that people knew that it needed to be corrected. So I'm going to fire it up and Donnie's going to kind of give you a lead in and can discuss that while we're going on. Let me get this all running. You talk about what's going on, Donnie. All right. You better, ble you better bleep out the cussing there. That big S word I said there. <laughs> I'll just change the rating later. <laughs> what are they going to do? It's not like I can monetize. Oh, my God. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't even know I said it, man. I was like, I was so upset. I was so upset about that that day. That was terrible. All right, let me get this wing, bing, and bing, and finger, bing, and bing, and bing. Screen, where's that thing? Is it there? Where's that? New to part. There it is. I'm getting to go now. Entire screen share. Boom. Boom. Ooh, that was psychedelic for a minute there. How about now? We good to go? I see it. All righty. Let me fire up the. Gotta love that intro. Hey guys, Tony here, and welcome to this edition. This, is this uh, unboxing, if you want to go past this. <laughs> I still had to do the intro. For a minute. Wait a minute, let me get that. Hey, welcome back, guys. Hey, 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 got... There, so. Wow, hey, fast guys. forward, fun. Donnie from <laughs> Strong Flyer, I'm back again here. Look like I got a, little, a couple more bugs on here. Okay, I'm out here in the park, so um, I'm gonna go and do a calibration on this. So what I'm gonna do? Quick note, guys, I, I can't see the chat because I'm full screen, so that you all can see this. So Billy and Don tearing you up right now. And Steve. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Stephen will take your credit. Is that just messing you up right now in the chat? Calibration, and then I can just snap them back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the bird. Yeah, that's where I was all excited about the damn bird that failed. <laughs> Find it up down. Okay, light stop flashing here. So now to calibrate, to do a compass calibration for the GPS, I'm gonna hold down and press this once. Okay, the lights are flashing, so I can let go of it now. So I need to do this. Let's see. Yep. There we go. We're going slow. Okay, now it's going fast, so I need to go up. 
and do it like this. The lights were flashing faster. Mm -hmm. It goes slow when you're just doing the oh, first uh, uh, calibrate. Now. And then, All the lights are solid. So now we're waiting for GPS that will turn green. And then we know we have a satellite lock. So I'm going to go ahead and put the legs on. Let me snap those on real quick. Light this on. Apologize for the noise. So for the noise, someone's doing construction over here, but this is the only park I can get to at the moment. Wow. So, Psychedelic. Oh, wow, trippy. Ants over here too as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate the gyros. So we're going to go down in the corner. And I need some damn bug spray. Here. Damn bugs were attacking me that day. Now, Don't say the D word. Some flash and it should be calibrated. Bugs. I said Dan. I said Dan. With the solid. Oh, so, oh I thought you said don't say the B word. Bad word. <laughs> bugs. Yes, uh, luck. Okay, guys. I easy, easy, flash. Steven. The lights easy. are right here. Watch this professional. Watch this professional here. Dude, that's what um, I love about this. It's kind of like mystery science phone. theater three thousand. Wire connected to it because now we need a couple of kung fu guys from China to do that. Uh, some karate action out there. How many theaters? Fly real quick. You. Yep. Can we find that Impress the oh. No, no, no. <laughs> it turned green. Okay, there it is. Wi-Fi. There it is. This guy's boring. Who are we watching now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi. Change the channel. Yeah. 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 Man, boring. I'm. I'm with Steven. I'm going to bed. No, but I went boring the hell out of me. How you go and. That's how you start the video. And, yeah, I had Seema, uh, if everybody can hear me, I had Seema get a hold of me and tell me, oh, this is, here's a video on how to correctly calibrate it. Well, uh, you know, I tried every calibration off camera as well. So did uh, DJ Soul Force, and so did Pete uh, from RC uh, Escape. And you know what? It's it's so we're gonna go it's up. the bird. Here we go. It's the bird, man. I, I, can, I can totally agree with that. They're, they're full yeah. of crap. It, yeah, uh, and then Seema, no. Seema tried to convince me to record. To tell me that I was doing it wrong. I said, nope, try again, buddy. I said, okay, let me talk to technicians again. They're checking into it. I said, well, they're going to have to tear the bird apart and check out the, the compasses because something else is wrong. And this is a return to home right here. So no, no, no. That bottom that, button so. is the tree homing button. Yeah, that's tree home. It's a tree trimmer device, too, if you guys ever need anything. Uh, to <laughs> The top one is the trimmer. <laughs> and the a lot of these doing the uh, fistful effects, but so far I am not seeing it. Um, I'm gonna. Well, you guys uh, missed it. That other button there, you just didn't see that button. That one's actually a uh, the go and uh, hunt squirrel. So if you guys ever need to get any squirrels, it's squirrel for squirrels in the trees. Yep, you have some good squirrel catcher there. Rate is by pressing this. There's second rate right now. I'm gonna keep it in second rate. I'm gonna bring it up. I mean, that what kills yeah, me is me it holds did, good uh, for a while, let me see if I, and then yeah. it's, it's to like the board's or eating not. up or something. It's like when it gets well, a yeah, little part of a toilet bowl right it can't now, handle so it. there it goes. Yeah. Well, see, what kills me is that it, it's do, trying to find its GPS lock. It's, it's getting confused and not knowing where, where its GPS is, is what's happening, is what I think is happening. You know, it's... It doesn't know where where it needs to be, so you know. So that's why it's doing the takeoffs and trying to do the flyaways because it's trying to find where its uh, GPS lock was originally at. Well, well, the the biggest issue is, I mean, it could be built like a piece of crap, and it, it more than likely is. But the biggest issue is, <laughs> you, you you cannot put brush motors. With GPS and expect a good lock, you can't. It's gonna still toilet bowl no matter what, mm -hmm. because because they, the brushless just can't be solid in even a five mile an hour wind. They can't. It's just yeah, impossible. We are having a problem. The brushed, yeah. I just uh, third one right now that's been reviewing this. Wait, we're getting see, to the point to where we're getting there. In. I love it when he goes for the trees. Here we go on the and he holds it up and goes, "Look, I'm not doing it. anything." <laughs> Oh, I was just worried about my. They look like they're about, not doing anything. So what He's, I want to try to do, ladies and gentlemen, the kids, new telepathic wrong, drone from Sima. <laughs> you were definitely control now with your mind. I myself, I'm not oh yeah, definitely. 
you know that's that's what happens when you watch uh, you know X you know when you watch uh, X Men and all that you you pick up that uh, those powers like that you know so it's, it's like the professor there you know or uh, Magneto I was just like Magneto I was picking up all the metal inside <laughs> there and making it move you know messing up the GPS and everything see I knew it. It's all a conspiracy. See, I'm all like, it's it, Seema is looking at me like it's a conspiracy. I'm just after Seema, which it's just kind of funny because I, I am a big Seema fan just for the X5C. Um, the X8 wasn't too bad. The uh, the one that Brian from True Drone Reviews gave me, the big orange. Uh, once I ditched the Wi-Fi camera and it didn't interfere with the same frequency of the uh, as the 2.4 gigahertz, you know, if it flies nice, man. I've, I've flown that and did a, quite a few videos using that and hooking up a, a little uh, action cam on it, you know. But, you know, this one just, you know, I, they're going to have to go back to square one because I wrote to them again after they, they messaged me on Facebook. This way and down. I told them, try again, man. You guys, I'm check out the compasses because I've already tried shielding. I already tried shielding it. So something I uh, wanted to ask about. Uh, uh, did you? Uh, everybody uh, noticed how Donnie calibrated off. the bird? Um, and now I know how sure Billy calibrates his bird. Filming. He calibrates his by yeah, actually yeah, standing yeah. and you know Everybody walking out. around in a circle. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering. Which Don't one would off. be the best? Are they both okay? okay Could one go. potentially have one more interference than another? Um, uh, Bill, if you want to like get that, Probably. what you just said, like through and people can hear it, you might want to pause the video or something because that was really hard to hear. I really don't like. It's okay. It wasn't that important anyway. But thank you for thinking of me, Stephen. No, that's he's right though. It's it's loud hearing my voice and then hearing you talking. But I what you said, you know, I tried going in the circle like I do with the H five hundred one S, the Hubson. You know, I've tried that. You know, I've I've tried. Uh, everybody told, oh, you got to go a lot smoother, man. I mean, you just barely kind of, you know. I'm like. You know, it shouldn't be rocket science. You know, I shouldn't have to go super slow. I tried super slow. I tried fast spins like the the X. What is it? The X twenty one or the X sixteen or whatever. That here's that, another. Uh, where it seems like you had some issues. Let me play that. Go ahead. Uh, RC Escape. They both reviewed this, and I wanted to try some different stuff. Go without the camera. Try doing the GPS again. And you know what? There's something wrong with this bird, guys. So. Um, let's go ahead and head out here and stop. There we go. See, there it goes. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's it's the tree homing device. Oh, oh, there it is, the out. tree homing oh, device. Oh my god. No. There it goes. That was close too. For some reason. Yeah, it wanted to go to that yeah, tree for some reason. That's the best tree homing there device I've ever right seen. Oh, uh, the second video is the best when it comes after the guy at the end, and then I have to hit emergency stop by pulling the stick down all the way and Cut it off to make it drop out of the sky because I couldn't get control of it. Second one. All right, I got it loaded. I'm ready. Here I go. Hit it that way now. Give me a moment. All right. Gotcha. Yeah, I just. Uh, Is that the open well, I got some. Or the crashed one. Uh, it's uh, it's the one where I go and do the um, right up there at the top where I did the, uh, the shield, the copper shield on it. And it's towards the very end of the video. Oh, well, now this is the one where you said open it up and look. It's only three minutes. Okay, yeah, this is just where I'm going to look at it. Guys, I'm with the SEMA X8 Pro. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. If you guys would, uh, see if it... I just wanted to see if anybody's seen anything that I might have missed because, you know, I'm. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't normally open these birds, so, you know, it's good to have other people's eyes on it. That's why I make these videos like this. Something in there. Um, I'm just glad that Invest.com went ahead and stopped sales there. Still working on RC Moment uh, to release my rep, and they tried uh, working on stopping sales, but uh, so far I'm the only video that uh, was uh, sent back to them about this. Uh, so I'm sure there'll be a lot more here eventually, and then it will uh, probably come to a stop as well. So, all right, let me open this up, guys, and we'll see what's going on inside. All right, guys, with the X8 Pro, I went and popped all 20 screws out, and you have three right here, all on each side. Then you got two right here on each side of the 
the arm. So you pop this thing loose on the X8 Pro. Um, I went ahead and did this already, but I unplugged the, the module for the GPS. So you can see right here where it was plugged in. Right here it had a little bit of hot glue and it was easy. I just barely moved it with the screwdriver. It came right off. So um, yeah, not too bad. So let me get this module off and I'll show you here real quick for the GPS here. Hey, everybody. I just want to show you the inside of the X8 Pro and seeing if anybody had any ideas. Uh, this is where I unplug the GPS module, which is right here in the top dome of the bird. Went ahead and took out the two screws. Here's the module right here. It's got a little watch style battery sitting up there. If my phone could focus in, here's the underneath side there that's up against the dome. Here's the top half. I know some of you guys wanted me to go and take it apart so you can see what it looks like inside. Any thoughts? And see what you guys think. Um, if we can't figure out what is causing this guy to go haywire from the factory, uh, can't lift that board up because there's uh, a bunch of solder mounts. So I unscrewed it, but I can't pop it out without soldering uh, uh, items. So I'm not going to do that. So, all right, guys, any opinions? Hey, let me know if you want me to take another a closer look. Or start yeah. 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 All right. yeah. All right. Yeah, my computer's slow, so hopefully you guys are seeing this in faster time than me. It's all just slow glitches for me. <clears throat> but, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I'm not 100% familiar with these in there. You know, I didn't even know what that little watch battery is for, to be honest with you. You know, maybe that was something I should have tried to find what size that is and, and maybe get a new battery. I'm sure it's like a memory to for the, I would think for the GPS, I would think uh, case power was cut off or something. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows that on out there. All right, here we go. This is the one that he was he was talking about a minute ago. This is the title of this one is very, very good. Crashed the X8 Pro copper tape mod and didn't work. Dangerous. Uh, I, I'm I'm thinking it, they just used really really turd parts to be honest, and yeah. you know it, they they thought they got their design right and it just it, so maybe, it, it maybe worked in China and it, it doesn't work here. Yeah, and they were probably somewhere where they're, you know, and I, and I do have some interference with, uh, you know, what's, there, there is a lot of hot spots here, but, uh, you know, I went in different, different times, different places, you know, and I go to a place where I don't get interference with any of my other GPS birds, and, you know, I just, you know, it just ain't, it just ain't working, man. I, I, they probably didn't do what we're, like, at least what I'm doing is, you know, full pitching it forward in the, in the high rate. And letting off either they probably just flew it a little bit and said oh this is great let's go and uh start producing this you know i don't know that's just me so i'm gonna do that hey, it looks like a phantom let's just <laughs> sell it yeah get the button off for the power exactly and i double yeah yeah exactly the they, they've basically that, cloned so a phantom two and gone from, from there and i'm gonna fit that in yeah there. they did and that's and that's the deal see people see this big bird and they go like Wow, look how big that is. I got to buy that, you know, and they think it's just the coolest thing. Well, yeah. I remember when I first started, I thought the CMAX 8 was really cool, just the original one. I was like, wow, look how big that is compared to my little X5C, you know, and uh, really it just you know, didn't have much more power than it, you know, than the little guy. So, well, see, this is, this is, I can see, I understand that they think that there's an interference issue. Mm -hmm. so what I'm thinking is that the board itself is up. And yeah. Fly, after five or ten minutes of flight, it's having issues, and it, it's not because that there's an you know it's having trouble with the signal or anything. Mm -hmm. The board's heating up, and it's basically kind of like forgetting things here and there while it's getting yeah. warm. You know, and then you have to put it down and turn it off, and then. After you let it cool off for 30 minutes or so and then put it back in the air, it works fine for about five or 10 minutes. And then this stuff starts happening again every time. Well, it's only, it's only within a, a, a minute or so, a minute oh, or two. Wow. Like I can get it to go forward and let off 
and it'll just kind of toilet bowl a little bit. But then all of a sudden, when I when I go down kind of a length, about 100 feet or so, and come back and let off the sticks, then boom, there it goes, taking off again. So, this, you know. Oh, and this, I, is, I, this is a journalation bird. This is a journalation bird. I'm just very surprised they didn't put any kind of shielding like this, you know. How, how, is, how, how is your wind at the time? I'm curious. You know, it was actually pretty calm over there. That You know, that day wasn't bad at all. You know, this one right here that's coming up, it wasn't that bad at all. Um, you know, uh, you got maybe your gusts and maybe one to two miles, if that, you know. Um, but it was a fairly decent day, um, you know. Okay. I'm just curious because I've had five mile an hour uh, at, at like 25 feet below an X5C across yeah. the, you know, across oh. the, you know, 100 feet across. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, well, it doesn't take much when it comes to those light birds. No, it it does. Does. You know, but the, the thing of it is, that same park right there, if you guys watch my very first, like, videos when I was first getting started, I was way into the Hubson H502E because it was pretty much all I had. <laughs> so, but that thing took about 20-mile-an-hour winds, and I have it filmed, and it held its ground, and I flew it around, and it never took off once. So I was very surprised. But, it, you know, but each bird's different, you know. Um, I just kind of expect this to kind of hang in there somewhat. There was no resistance, so it should have, you know, should have done its thing. All right, so you got the shielding installed. Yes. I'm going to let it go here. Now yeah. let's see what happens. <laughs> here we go. <coughs> this is, it, okay, I'm just letting you guys know I'm going to do the calibration, okay? This time what I thought I would try, and I, and I tried it back to normal on uh, off camera, but this time I brought it up before the green lights uh, lit up to say that I had satellite. But I brought it up a little bit and hovered a few feet off the ground. Okay. And then I, you'll see me. I'll come back around and look. And the two green lights are back on. So we did get satellite lock. Okay. Just a few feet off the ground. I just wanted to kind of get off the ground so it could get a little bit better satellite signal. And I do that with a lot of my birds, like the, the bugs too. I'll bring it up a little bit, you know, and get a really good satellite lock, and then I'll bring it back down, to, you know, but I keep it right in that just a small hover off the ground. Let me go about three or four times until those stop uh, flashing slow and start speeding up. Well, I'm doing it slow. Okay, now they're rapidly, rapidly uh, flashing. So I'm going to hold the nose up, and then we're going to spin it around until it stops. Ah, oh, real world okay. responsibility. All right, guys. I hope this works. I hope this is gonna. Work. So I hope this works. <laughs> I hope we don't attack the manufacturer with the this. Best, man. Oh man, I got so many people sitting there. People are getting on me about this video. You didn't let the green light light up. You know. It, it, I did once. It was only like a foot or two off the ground. I went back around and circled. You can see the green lights are on. You know, so it's 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 got a lock in that in that spot right there. It doesn't need to be on the ground to get a lock. Hey, we're, but the whole point is is get it up here a little what bit. people we're we're we don't make these videos to try to prove in. everybody okay. wrong. We're yeah. just going to say we're having right, these issues there for a second. with this is bird. Is there anybody so out there that can put up a video? It can you know, show us the what we did wrong so that we can you know, do it right tell. and have yeah. fun playing you know, this drone has, like so. anybody else. We're not saying that it's – this yeah. is telling you that two or three birds, like I'll be right, honest guys, with you, there's a, a there, drone out there right now, in, the Sea uh, Fly Obtain. You know, <laughs> oh, my God. Let's not go there. <laughs> Got a lot of issues with those people. Let's talk about that thing. Bit we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> um, I know I got to freeze up on my computer, but if you can, if you can see it, you can see the green lights are on on that. So I did get a satellite lock. Let off. It holds its ground for a second. You know, it does good on the first initial takeoff, and then this is where 
it ends up having problems after a couple of tries. There it goes, guys. In a little bit of a little bit of a, a toilet bowl effect and stopped. Not as bad as it did the other day when I showed you guys. So let's go forward. Let me start. Yeah, back. This is where I'm excited, thinking I fixed it. <laughs> Have it towards me so you can see it closer to me here. So now we're going forward and stop. Okay. All right. A little bit of just a hesitation and it's stopping. If you guys remember the video before, it was going crazy. And, I, and it's not from me calibrating uh, the GPS because I did it counterclockwise off a of camera and it still had that effect. So this is not the, the cure of it. All I did now is put a copper uh, tape in there and I'm blocking uh, the, the mother, motherboard from the GPS board. So, you know, let's try it out here a little bit, see if you guys could see it and I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. It's going crazy. Uh-oh, watch out, sweetheart. Get back. <laughs> my poor girl, man. I was like, I didn't know she I snuck up on me. My daughter just showed up. It's, it's not working, guys. The, it's got to be it, It's got to be the compass, you know? I don't know what else it could be. It's not working. It's very dangerous. Don't buy this thing. Sima. <laughs> don't buy this thing. Yeah. Hey, I... It was sponsored. It was sponsored. This is one thing. Okay, it was sponsored to me from RC Moment, and you know what? I I don't care if they never talk to me again. I we spend our hard earned money to get a quadcopter that's going to work decent, and when they sell us crap like this, I'm going to let you guys know because exactly. I don't want you wasting your money, and I don't care if I lose a sponsor or not. I'm not going to sit there and promote something that's a piece of crap. Stop. There we go. Okay, sorry. It does appear that the shielding's working better. Yeah, me. at first, and then it seems like almost kind of like you said, Bill. All of a sudden, it's like it, it warms up, and then all of a sudden, it, this hell breaks loose. It ain't doing it like it was, but it's still taking off, guys. I'm just letting yeah. you know. Here's where I start getting dramatic, and, and so I apologize for the dramatic. <laughs> Shite! Really thing going still. Shite! Um, I just get too excited. I was getting so I was getting so frustrated and mad at this thing. Let me tell you. Stop, stop. <laughs> See, I can stop, stop. Like I'm like I'm gonna use Jedi Force with my hand or something. Jesus. We all know it was mind control. I guess I was using the Jedi Force. Five and stop. Hmm. Okay. Uh -oh. That's good. crazy. Okay. Let me come over here. Come forward. Here we go. Stop. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Look, I'm not doing it, guys. There it goes. Come on, <laughs> Jedi mind trick. That's crazy. Man. Need to put a bomb on it and send it to. Send it. It ain't the copper tape. Don't say that word. No. Don't say that you know, word. Not on a drone. Paint, paint bomb. Paint bomb. Smoke bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Smoke bomb. Right paint bomb. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work. Forward. And stop. Now here it comes. Here it comes. Back and stop. Yeah. Oh no, it's not stopping. It <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy underneath the trees Sorry, right there. Sir, see that guy? Oh. There it went. See, I didn't even see that guy underneath those trees, man. He showed up out of nowhere. Because I looked around before yeah, I flew this. He's like, I get all my mail here. What do you mean? No, oh, I think he decided to have lunch and watch this show and probably laugh and go, What's this idiot doing talking to himself? Take off. <laughs> Jeez, I'm done. I'm done with this. Zima, you can have the X8 uh, Pro back, the GPS. Ooh. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Ooh. Don't get this. Ooh. You think Zima got mad at me for that one? I really don't oh, yeah. care. They can have it back, you know, and everybody goes, well, I I'm still going to get one anyways. Uh, you know, I'd like to see what it does. <laughs> hey, you want to spend 100 something bucks for something that ain't going to fly? Go ahead. You know, yeah, and I real. got one guy, I got one guy, I got one guy I had to tell him, look, you know. <laughs> Did you all see what Dan put in chat? <laughs> uh, I just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, bro, go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Open it up, take a dump in it, close it back together, send it back to him. Exactly. Well, he said, there goes your monetization, Donnie. Yep. <laughs> Your next review, forget it. <laughs> yep. 
No, oh, well, I don't care. You know, I'm not going to go and promote a product that people are, you know, using their hard-earned money that they're working for to get something for their kid or themselves and say, oh, it's great. Buy it, you know. I am not doing it. It's not worth it to me, and I'm not going to do it. You know, I want everybody to know the truth, man, you know, because I, I, I still buy my stuff out there too. I don't, you know, I just recently got some sponsorship. doesn't mean that I give up everything and go, this is all great. Look at this, guys, you know, and it's a piece of crap. I'm not doing it. I don't care who you are. All right. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. This is my little personal shout out here. I'm going to tell everybody just how much of a Billy Kyle fanboy I am. <laughs> so I was not, here. Everybody, everybody knows that I talk to Billy a lot. We talk pretty much every day. And I have been talking about wanting to get a good for quite a while now. And he's been the whole time he's been like, to get the Lumex G7, man. You really, you need to get, and it just so happens that's the same exact camera that Billy uses. Well, usually an $800 camera. Is just that right here? Here on, um, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Look, look he's, he's letting everybody see here. Yeah. It's, not, it's real nice. I mean, for especially, they always have that deal. They always have some sort of like deal on this thing, I swear. Uh, around Christmas time, oh I remember getting mine for Christmas last year for I think six hundred. So I think you got a better deal, but well, it's a year old, so yeah, yeah, which is fine. Stephen, what are you? Did you meet yourself, or did you have to come back in? No, I don't know. He's not saying anything, but I muted him. So if you muted him and I messed up, let me know later. Anyway. But yeah, so yes, I, I, I bought the same exact camera that Billy has, and I got the uh, iPad Mini 4, which is basically the same thing that he has. And <clears throat> The iPad Mini 4 is great for flying, too. It's like well, a perfect size. I thought about, okay, the new Galaxy uh, S8 Plus, the whole thing is pretty much glass. And even with this otter box, right? Mm -hmm. uh, hang on. It must be a pain to take in and out of the case so that you can. You all can see already, right? Okay, even with insurance, I'm going to spend probably $270 to replace this phone, right? So I'm like, I can get an iPad 4 Mini for. No, it's Cyber Monday for like 400 but I think it was, well, yeah. 375 Yeah, yeah. Okay. And or pay $280 for this and have to switch back and forth between the Spark and the Phantom. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, like I will continue to use my iPhone as I need to. Like sometimes I'll just end up flying with it, but I always try to use my iPad mini whenever I can. Well, I'm just thinking – that if I, I'm going to end up having to spend more money on this to replace it anyway, mm -hmm. if I'm going to replace it just to, and then end up using it with the drones where I break it again, I'm just going to end up spending another $270 every time. So I would rather depend on another device and even let this be the Wi-Fi hotspot as opposed to a good to, idea. Yeah. I've got the, uh, I've got a personal hotspot with, uh, with Verizon that I use for my iPad and that works that works out fine. I use it for my computer too whenever I'm on the go. In fact I had to upload my video today from that. <laughs> How much you paying a month? I mean, that's who I'm with now. I got I think I think it's I think it's ten bucks I think I pay for the hotspot. Okay, that's cool. Well it looks like Donnie dropped out for a minute. I don't know if he left or what. <laughs> here's the, here's something that I wanted to talk about. I feel like I feel like this is not a conversation that has come up, uh, except for when the Phantom 4 Pro first came out. But have you noticed when you turn it on and it's running, it has that annoying buzzing noise? Buzzing? You mean the where the fans are on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why it makes that noise? Uh, kind of like when a computer initially boots up. It usually the fans are always on to make sure that initial surge of energy doesn't override the processor. No, the fan itself is like spinning. It's spinning and vibrating against the the plastic, like the body. 
So okay. there's there's people out there who are opening up the fandom and putting a little piece of foam in between it, and when they turn it on, there's no there's like no sound whatsoever, none of that annoying vibrating noise. But, but okay. I'm I'm confused. Yeah, go um, me too. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, well, not, not, no, I understand what you're saying. I, I get I get your what 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 you're explaining, but. I don't understand the fact like you're flying it away from you and flying around. Are you are you like? I mean, do you have supersonic hearing? I I, I mean, it's just it's just something that was brought up. I mean, and it's especially like whenever I try to make a video, if I like walk through the, you know, I was just walking through the menu settings for the Phantom Four Pro, and I had to like put it on another floor of my house so that it wouldn't pick it up in the background. It was just like super annoying. I need a PC. I need a PC. Someone, please send me a PC. Uh, I'll tell you what the address is. No, I'm not going to tell you the address. But anyway. <laughs> You're going to get some other stuff showing up at your house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll get those water balloon, uh, uh, you know, and the paint things that I mentioned uh, I was going to hook up to the the drone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, something, another thing um, that I noticed that you had put up some videos about, Billy, was the the most recent updates to both the Spark for firmware and to the, the Mavic firmware. And we personally had discussed the new Spark firmware and how you now have to take basically a knowledge test in order to fly. Oh, I've seen that too. Did, did, you, did you get the knowledge test yet? No, I said told you it's, it's miserable weather here for me. Yeah, yeah, you told me. Plus, I told the phone is toast. Yeah. I saw how it smashed. I really don't want to take it in and out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm just, you know. So, so I've, uh, my, my video tomorrow that I'm uploading is going to be all about the knowledge test. Uh, and I'm trying to open it up right now. I've got this, I've got the screenshot. So we can walk through. You guys want to walk through it right now? You want to walk through what the questions are? Sweet. You think that'd be, you think that'd be I thought it was different for everybody. I, I so I was talking to somebody through Facebook, and he said that he got the knowledge quiz, and he got these same questions on on the like each quiz that he took. You have to ask uh, ask Ron Brown. Ron Brown uh, did his video too, and uh, he's chatting right here. Uh, but he's he's had to take his, and he filmed it too. So I I, I actually got mine. I was updating my Mavic firmware in my dorm. And um, it, the knowledge test popped up. So I went through, I took some screenshots. Um, and so the first question that I got was, how far away can you fly a drone? It is A, up to a mile away. B, there is no limit. C, you must keep the drone within your visual line of sight. And D, 3,000 feet horizontally. What do you guys think it is? Oh, I'm sorry, say that again. I was trying to pay attention to chat. <laughs> uh, how far away can you fly a drone? Up to a mile away. There is no limit. You must keep the drone within your visual line of sight or 3,000 feet horizontally. Within your visual line of sight. Line of yeah. sight, yeah, of course. Uh, okay, uh, good. Not everybody does that, especially 95% of people, but yeah. it's line of sight. Yes. All right. Let's okay, now question two. At what maximum flight altitude should you fly a drone under FAA guidelines? 400 feet. Uh, it's 400 feet above ground level. There is no maximum altitude suggested by the FAA, only as high as the nearest rooftop. Uh, oh, nice. 200 feet above ground level. No. So, of course, it's 400 feet. Yes. Then you got the technicality. No. You can fly up to 400 feet above the object with, with your foot. Yeah. So if you're, like, above a building, you can fly 400 feet above that roof. Or around it. You can orbit around the roof for 400 feet, right? Is that not true? Yeah, well, I would I would think that if you're like 10, 20 feet away from the building and you're not going to – I mean, that counts. You're not going to have a plane flying that close. Um, there are some weird discrepancies out there, though. Like you could go within – four if you're like doing a, a tower, for instance, you could go within – you could go another 100 – or I'm sorry, another 400 feet above that tower. Yeah. All right. Chat thing, guys, y'all go on. Just go with it. <laughs> Dan. Dan's for Screw the, the rules. <laughs> Screw Dan. that rule. 
the chat's kind of fun too so i was watching it yeah i'm looking at the chat on my phone but my lab just crashed <laughs> yeah wait up dan get on here bro. everybody we're going to call this from now on since since we have the captain cook with the gimbal and stuff on the goat we're not gonna this is the donnie yep oh yeah told you do the freeze frame in public and see what people do. Just stop anywhere and do a freeze frame. <laughs> yeah, Stephen does it better than anybody, though. I've exactly. I'm freeze framing all the time. Yeah, look at that. I, I don't know how he don't move right there. What is it they call it? It's a Vogue move. That's right. Smooth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to bring up. Um, uh, I know a lot of you all use various softwares. A lot of you use PowerDirector. Uh, Billy uses Final Cut. Love I, it. I personally use it for, like that. for drone footage, for for effects footage, for any kind of anything. It's the yeah. best combination platform out there. Oh, we got Lou? Everything yeah. that I do as far as with visual effects, as I do with editing, a lot of, you know, 90% of my photography is the Express version. Go to film.com. You can check it out. There's tons of different guys on here on the internet. Yeah, tutorials to walk you through. Pretty much everything that you've seen me built is either a direct copy of what they've taught me or uh, variations where I've learned to play with stuff. And that's how simple the software is and that's how easy it is to learn. Oh, guys like um, try and be, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Hit Film University. And check his channel out. There's Hit Film Sensei. And Jay actually, Hit Film Sensei, Jay actually has a uh, karate studio. So he, he does that. Plus he owns a Phantom Four Standard, so he is a drone pilot too. He always puts out two weekly tutorials on um, either Hit Film Express or Hit Film Pro that just came out. Uh, as a matter of fact, Hit Film Pro is discounted for the next probably uh, five days. So really you ought to go check it out. They got a lot of stuff. And like I said, the Express version is free. They have different apps you can get. Uh, I, I love it. And for free, like to get their software, they ask you to simply share the link, saying yes. you're checking it out on Facebook, and they give you the download link. That's it. Now, is that available for Mac? Yes. You know? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Remember, we were, I was talking to you about this when we were texting earlier. So I was talking about because Mike Mueller – the guy who runs Trium Visual, he does a lot of his own work. He has, like I said, he's got a Facebook page, Trium Visual. If you Google on YouTube, Hit Film University, that's his channel. If you Google Hit Film Sensei, that's Jay's channel. Uh, another great, super, super, super good uh, creator that uses Hit Film is named Aiden Robbins. He flies a, a Phantom 3 standard. He's a, an, a, some of the, the work he does. What was, what's the, um, Billy, you and I were talking about the, the YouTube guy. Um, okay, does the stuff. Sam like, Colder. Huh? Sam Colder. Yes, yes. Aiden has done his kind of own um, transition on that. I and mean, he, he does, he checks out all the new YouTube standards and stuff, and then he transfers them to, and, and I swear to you, he's like 15 years old. Yeah. He's the completely free version of Hit Film Express. Basically copies everything you see out there. You find workarounds for everything. There's weekly tutorials. And it, I would not be surprised if the kid's not in the gifted program that every school he goes to. <laughs> is, he, is that the one that you um, you like tagged me in on Twitter? No. that That is a, a wasp. He's in South Africa. He's another one of the yeah. young up and coming guys. If you check out his stuff, you saw how creative he was. Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, he can do like uh, he'll do the flash effect that you see on TV, or he'll do. Uh, I didn't put, uh, 
like uh, Iron Man, heads up, does explosions. Like, and the cool thing that he does is he's kind of created an alter ego. Like he calls himself Red online, and he's created an, an, an evil twin or a mischievous twin named Ned. So that's how all his videos work. You'll see Ned kind of sneak in at the beginning and try to take control of the video and be like, yeah, hey, here, and I'm going to do this. And then, and then a wasp will come in as red and be like, Ned, what are you doing? And then you'll see <laughs> bust ass out of frame. <laughs> and then he'll be like, I don't understand that. And sometimes he'll, he'll actually have an argument with Ned and you'll hear them yelling at each other from on and off camera. And he yeah, does yeah, I haven't seen the whole thing. I haven't seen like all of his videos, but it's hilarious. And, and now I got to check it out. All these kids are like this. Well, okay. Uh, Awas is is red alert. Just do, if you do, you do hit film, and then you you type you know on YouTube, you Google hit film, and then red alert, and you'll get Awas. And and it's like I said, and and you guys, you don't have any idea about some of the creators and stuff that I have hooked up with thanks to hit film. You want to look, check out somebody that you'll will literally blow your mind is one of the best 3D render artists I've ever seen. It's Gray Motion, G R A Y Motion, and I'm serious. When you go to his channel, I, the guy built an entire space station, animated it completely, and uploaded it to YouTube. <laughs> and the, the cameras fly around the space station. You see the planet Earth. And he's built every bit of it using Blender and Hit Film, and I was just like, "Wow!" And and this new version. Oh, I see, I seen that uh, the space station one. That one's awesome. It's like I said. There, there's so many guys that I have met. Like I was talking about, uh, Mike Miller does a lot of work with with Hit Film and stuff. Uh, and today was actually the first time I had posted something in a positive way talking about hit film because I had had an issue once before, but that was my fault. And <laughs> my bad. Uh, so I had tweeted something. Like I said, you all ought to go check it out. At least download the free version and just go play with it. Like I said, you can go to YouTube and just type in hit film express 2017 tutorials. And there's a million things. And like I was talking about, you can check out, Aiden Robbins, you can check out Red Alert, you can check out It Films Sensei. Uh, Shiny Films is one of the guys who taught me a lot of stuff. I don't know if any of you watched the video that I made where uh, let's see, it was the. You have to have white things. Where the. Um, I brought the old Pearl Mark out. I just said it's growing. You know, full size drone, kind of a, a SEMA clone or a Phantom. You've always got some crazy effects going on in your videos. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's something from all that trippy acid, maybe from the dead shows. Well, did you guys see my new uh, my new thumbnail? That was from that was from Bill right there. That one's awesome. I love it. That's on the new software, bro. That's that is freaking cool as hell. Because the only thing I use right now is it cost me like three ninety nine. Is uh, I use Power Director and I use Action Director. They're both pretty much almost the same thing, but I like them both. That's yeah. what I use for right now. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty good thumbnail. Well, I made a I made a bunch yeah. of those. Though. That's what's so funny. Cause remember, yeah, it was pretty cool. And you were like, "Well, the wife likes this one, but she likes it better." Uh -huh. Things and I was so yeah. I kept him thumbnails back and forth. Mm -hmm. Kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it came out really good. Yeah, here, here, I can do this. That's what I'll do. I use Paint ninety seven. Well, there's a lot of now. Um, what's what's this? Uh, Aussie Mark. Aussie Mark mm -hmm. turned me on to uh, Paint .net. And It's a really good program. It's got curves. It's got you can you can do layering. You can actually do kind of minor HDRs. It's really, you know, it's free software. Super, super cool. So, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit the hide button up the top here. Yeah, full screen. So there's the first one. Yep. And we went there. And she didn't remember, she didn't like the, the, the particle 
the, yeah, lions, the, the lions, the lions threw it. You know, like the lions, the <laughs> fit of lions. Okay, what that is, if you'll notice that it's it's just on the the BDF lettering. I put a particle simulator on it. I could change it around okay. and stuff. I mm -hmm. was, but I was, you know, and then, you know, here's the another one with the flames. Yeah. And then I'd put the, the particle simulator back with the flames. And this one uh, is actually, you all can see this. I made a video with this. If anybody's seen yeah. it, each one of the letters actually has an active video in it. And that's actually from, I, I took that from, um, an After Effects program and moved it into hit film. So I actually converted that from a from an After Effects program and an idea to no stop. I converted it that way. Oh, so hey, we're at seven o'clock. What are we going into? Okay. Is Dan gonna come around when he gets off of work? Uh yeah, because Stephen, didn't you get a didn't you get a parrot also? Donnie, how are you doing with your parrot? I, I have so many parrots that I, <laughs> I don't even parrot. know what's happening anymore. He's got real parrots flying around. I seen that video today. Your live, <laughs> your live stream. Oh, Billy knows this one, huh, Billy? <laughs> yes, there we go. That thank you for doing that, Donnie. Speaking of <laughs> bugs, Billy, are we ever gonna see another Bugs Three video from you? Oh, I'm, so I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something special to do with it for a video, at least. Like flying around my backyard is fun and all, and like sometimes I I look up some like I guess it's like FPV drone stuff, whatever, right through like Facebook and stuff like that, and I see people like diving under trees and going over top of the trees and like cutting like these closed corners. And I'm like, oh man, yeah. my videos suck. <laughs> no shit, that's all right, man. We all started off. With, I remember when Bill uh, Bill kept telling me. I take the train and wheels off of that thing, man, and fly it. So I did in my first my first flight I, or second flight. I started just multi flipping that thing. Everybody's like, "Oh man, you're gonna let it hit the ground!" And it did one time at the very end of my video. It did a it did a somersault across the field, but it hung in there. That's awesome, though. Well, yeah, it's like it's like when I did it. It just kind of walked its way down the tree. If I'd have had prop guards on it, it probably would have hung in the top of that. Oh. Tree. Easily. That's, what, that's normally what happens to everybody. The cool thing was, and I'm going to be completely honest, I kind of engaged the, the propellers and let off and engaged to kind of walk it down the tree. And really? I'm going to about that. I, if I could see it, because I, I could see it coming down, and I could see it kind of get hung, and I kind of throttle a little bit, and the propellers would flip, and then it would roll some more. And then it finally, when I saw it drop, I didn't see where it dropped. So, I basically turned it off, and then I, I went over and I turned it back on again so that I could hear it beep. And I was looking for lights. Yeah, it's that's awful. that's what happened to me. I got it in a tree. I got it in a tree too <laughs> at my parents' house. And you see my videos, and you see my parents' property. It's just all oak trees, man, and a little bit of fir trees. But yeah, I I got too close, and the wind blew it right into a tree about forty feet up, and it took me two hours with a a rope oh. and a heavy weight and threw it up there and shook it to death and finally i got it to shake and i hit the i hit the uh throttle on it and it lifted up enough to pop it out of there and i caught it out of the tree that's before awesome. it hit the ground yeah oh but i don't i uh, i don't know well i'm just trying to figure out if dan and what time he's going to get in here and if he's going to get in here let's see what happens nope there's there's a little Hubson non-killer, guys. I, I don't, I'm don't. i tired of people saying it's a Hubson killer. It's not a Hubson killer. This oh, does not... Video on here. Yeah, Yeah. It, it did not kill the Hubson 502E. I'm sorry, but uh, this thing only goes about 100 meters. Uh, that's, what it's, that's what it's rated on. I didn't try to max it out because I'm not in a good spot to do that. But, you know, it basically... I mean, the propellers, everything looks exactly like a Hubson, and you can even switch the batteries out. I took an extra battery with me and flew it around, and it was the Hubson's battery, you know. So it's uh, it just got a little more uh, – uh, I think it's this one's like 20, 25C or something like that, and I think the Hubson's only like 20 or, or 15 or something like that. I can't remember, but the the that was the only difference on the battery, but it's the same battery size. But 
yeah, it's not a killer, guys. You know, and the camera, you know, these cameras, they all still suck. I mean, it's all right, you know, for for a beginner and you, you want to film something up high, you think, oh, that is great. At least it puts on a, a, a clear picture, but it's just they, they really put too much greens in these <laughs> things, man. It's like, so, so, so say <laughs> versus the bugs, too. Oh, bugs, too, man. It's awesome. That's not even a fight, man. Oh, man, the bugs, too. Love it, man. I put the... That's it. You I, put, I put the... I put the little action cam on there with the Bugs 3 uh, mount right there, and I got some great footage, ocean footage, out in the ocean, man. I took that thing quite a ways out there, and it did really well. So Bugs 2 versus the 501S, or the 501C. Uh, Bugs, 501 Bugs, Bugs, uh, Bugs 2 as in range and and – uh, what do you want to call it? Reliability, because it's really reliable. Uh, the the Hubson, I'm still afraid of flyaway, but the Hubson kicks its butt with the with the camera. Oh, you know, majorly. It's not it's not it's not an upverted camera or an upres camera like the damn bugs is. But yeah, as far as trusting the GPS and the bugs, yeah. The, yeah, I trust the it. Version, it's not going to do great because of the Wi-Fi signal, but if you're willing to go without Wi-Fi and just go line of sight, well, watch my watch my videos. I put an FPV camera on there. Um, I went with 200 uh, milliwatt FPV camera, and I just ran like a little 500. Uh, uh, I think it was 500 milliamp uh, battery on there, just like the one you get out of the H uh, the X uh, uh, X5C, and. Uh, <laughs> And it ended up uh, did really well. That's that's what I did on some of the videos. When you see me going out and you see like the sea lions and all that stuff, I was watching it through uh, uh, my goggles, and then some of it I was watching through the screen that I had. So you know, if it just in case I did get out of line of sight. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Oh, okay. So something. Okay, anybody? Because we're coming up on the Christmas season. Uh, mm -hmm. Tommy Drone uh, has has been giving me some input and, you know, he's, he's voice interested in to help us out. Like, like is my interest too. Uh, hopefully we'll get him on here in the future. Uh, Ron Brown, he's always posting stuff in coast to coast drone, always bringing up stuff. And here recently he has helped us bring to light the sea fly obtain drone, which oh we are God. familiar with already. And we also know that uh, is um uh um <coughs> crappy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and so we've seen some people have actually reviewed it now, and they're trying to be nice and and say that you know we we told them ahead of time that it was the gimbal shakes were not going to do any good. The little five megapixel camera. But they're trying to say they're they're trying to pretend that they've created some mid grade class drone that we haven't had before. Like mm -hmm. Arc is a social media drone meant for selfie. Uh, have Have you ever, um, you know, like you've gone to the toilet, you know, number two, you go number two, and you stand up. It just looking and see what it looks like, and that, that, that's the drone you're referring to right now. <laughs> and then and it, oh, it doesn't look the way you think, so you hit the handle quickly. Oh my god, that's, that, right. that's one that I didn't want to look at. I was afraid to look at it, just close the feet real quick. It looks oh. cool, it looks really good. The whole idea. They have emulated the Mavic almost to perfection. Yo, I love the Mavic now. I'm all about it. I'm going to throw my nasal inhaler at the camera. Because I remember for listening to you for months. It's terrible. Don't get it. The camera. It was so bad. And all right. I'm still not all that hype about the camera. Like, I went and shot some footage on today. And I'm like, oh, I wish I brought the Phantom. And I'm going to say that every time I shoot with it. But it's like... It's better than it was. I'll get you. 
But did you see what Target had the the, the Mavic on sale for on Sky? Oh, seven. Yeah, seven sixty nine, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I was like, he told me, he told me the camera was horrible. He told me the camera was horrible. I'm good, but it's <laughs> but it's it's refurbished, right? No, it was brand new. Yeah, sure there should that? there was some there was new Brand ones that were only seven hundred bucks. I was, couldn't believe yeah, they it. Gave you a Cyber Monday discount on top of the DJI Cyber oh. Monday discount. It was the brand new Mavic for wow. sixty eight. Man, that's that is cheap. Phenomenal. I can't and Ryan, okay, I forgot to bring up Ryan. You know, Ryan posted that in in, in RC. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, let me do this correctly. Give a shout out where it's right. Uh, uh, what the heck? Uh, uh, yes, that's the only mailbag. Sorry, my wife's talking to me. Uh, RC Drone Review Support and Discussion. Ryan Duvall's group. He was the one, I mean, and he came out early with that to let everybody know. And I, I'm not kidding you, Billy. It was a brand new. Mavic Pro Devin. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, and, and I was like, no, no, the camera's bad. The camera's bad. But no, I'm I'm very happy that we got a great deal on the camera and, and because it's it's stuff that my wife can use too. So it's it's cool. Yeah. The one thing that I wish the I know that the the GH five has the new Panasonic camera. Uh, dual SIM card slots. That's something I'm hoping to see in the next Phantom. Two micro SD cards so that you can like record footage to both SD cards, or you can use two SD cards and like basically fill both of them. Or you guys know what I mean. Or or like the uh, thank you, Ron Brown, for posting this. The, um, the of the lenses. So basically, maybe the Phantom Five will could potentially shoot in 6K or oh. No, no, 8K. Oh, no. Who knows? It's not. No, you I, can I don't know. Oh, go ahead. What's that? I don't no, know if I it's going to shoot I, anything I, over. Go ahead. You go. You go. You go. <sighs> Sorry, Billy. I just wonder. No, they're changing everything. I just wanted to bring this up because they're changing everything to 5G. You know, so if is is your tablet and your or your or your phone going to have to be 5G? Is that are they going to change them over to that as well? You know, because that's. Because see, with that with that little, uh, I just got done talking to uh, Soul Force about that little JJRC. He got his app to work, but his phone is a 5G phone. See, my phone's only 4G, so I couldn't get the app to work. So I wasn't really? able to get the Wi-Fi uh, FPV on it. So I'm wondering, are they going to switch all these these uh, new birds to just run off of uh, 5G? That's that's a good question, I think. Yeah. I, I have no earthly idea what the answer is. I, I would think it'd be more hardware based, when, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Have, see, the bad thing about it is, is you're, you're, no matter how far they advance, you're still going to have to have a network that's going to allow for the older equipment to run them. So I don't understand. Why you having a 4G as opposed to a 5G didn't let you run because the app shouldn't have been based on what your connection speed was because you could hook up on your Wi-Fi and be faster than 5G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true because you got – yeah, that's true. So I, don't I just was kind of curious. Shouldn't make any – But anyway, back to what we were talking about before, Billy. Yes, it was a brand-new Mavic Pro. Over seven hundred sixty nine dollars to Target. What? what That's was crazy. It? They gave you. They gave you an additional. Okay. The, what it was was they got the initial discount from the Cyber Monday for the day I was took it to what eight ninety nine. They gave mm -hmm. a Target discount because the company is in major, major, major distress. Who Target? Yes, and if the, yeah. this make or break season for them. Yep. So you know, they're going to beg you to buy. So they had an additional Cyber Monday discount of like a hundred and twenty dollars. That's nuts. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, and I was like, no, no. But like I said, I'm happy with what I got because even though we saw the the potential leaks of 
the P5, which they have predicted for second quarter of next year. I still think, and this is kind of a personal thing between Mr. Kyle and I, I think that it's going to drop around first quarter, into first quarter, second quarter, is the Mavic. Two. But how is DJ going to miss a – a holiday season like right now how are they going to come out with a drone in the first quarter and miss this christmas season right oh, but but my whole point is is you, you're saying it's going to come out within the next few days or the next day. Day. how are they going to the whole point is is if you want something for christmas aren't you they have no What's going on? Mm-hmm. Another thing that makes me wonder is right now they're really pushing a lot of their other products. Like I see them pushing the Osmo Mobile a lot as well as their DJI Care Refresh. So I feel like these they're pushing these for this holiday season and then they're going to start off the year with something new. Or we could see something in the springtime again because I know that they always like to drop a new Phantom around like Mayish or April. Oh, oh, my Mavic shrunk. My Mavic <laughs> shrunk. Darn it. That is <laughs> I, I put it in the I, darn it! I put it in the damn dryer too long. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is cool. that fun. Awesome. It is fun. I'm telling you, it's it's worth the money. All right, this is one thing that's worth it. I think. If I this little e sheen, it's a e fifty eight. I think it's well worth the money. And it truly is as close as you can get. It's even got something to emulate the intent on the controller. Even though they're not actually antenna, it does emulate the controller to that point. Yep, fake antennas, but it looks cool. <laughs> Wish yeah. it was real antennas. I, you know something? I bet you could probably run a wire out there and run it up the antennas. Oh, you could. And it would actually, what would be so funny, you could do a mod video of how you could change it into a functional antenna you could actually run two leads out solder, yeah i have that solder two leads off of it come out of it and so that it could fold out and you would have two separate leads on each one and they'd be both functional hey you could set up that uh that uh ishi and i got that little uh 5.8 system where you plug into your cell phone you can have the antenna come out right here for the for the fpv and then you could go and put the your monitor right underneath here like the Mavic does, you know. So you have your monitor sit right in there. That's what I did. I hooked up my monitor and I ran this thing uh, with the little FPV camera until I broke the antenna off. <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. So you could actually dedicate one antenna to yep. the FPV and then you could extend the transmitter antenna for the bird itself and mm -hmm. have one for the TX and one for the FPV, but both be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be great. And the thing I did like about this little guy, I don't know if you guys can see this on screen. Let's see if I can get a little closer. They actually put the antenna on the outside of the bird. I'm very happy with that because I got some pretty good range. Sang says it's good to, I think, 100 or 150 meters, but I went like two or 300 feet with no dropouts whatsoever. Oh, Ron was talking about in the chat about how, yeah, the Mavic and the P4P had been much better than they were a year ago. Oh, Ron was correcting us. He was saying about things running on 5.8 gigahertz. Yes, yeah. So basically, things that are converting to 5.8 gigahertz, you're going to need a 5.8 gigahertz phone to mm -hmm. run. So, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm, I'm confused. I don't. <laughs> I am. I, uh, you guys are going off the wall to me. I mean, five point eight gigahertz is an RF signal. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not radio. No. I was uh, talking about the five G uh, system. I mean, is what I was talking about for your sorry. for your cell phone. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought that's you were talking about. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Stephen. I was talking about the five G network. I'm just saying if you were to run off your, your phone for the app, I'm not talking about hooking Wi-Fi, you know, because I know the Phantoms, they, they have their own Wi-Fi, and you plug your, your device into it and stuff. But I'm just wondering yeah, about it, that, yeah, the that's app their itself. Own special thing there, yeah. yeah. I, I'm wondering about the app 
you download? You know, is it going to be a 5G app to where your phone has to be 5G or your or your uh, you know tablet or something? You know, because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of these new quads that are coming out that uh, your phone or tablet has to be 5G to to be able to have that app running. You know, not the not connecting to Wi-Fi. You know, I'm talking about just to connect to your app. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're getting, and that's what I thought you were talking about. And it has yeah. to be, it has to be at least five gigahertz cellular, though, to be able to do that. Yeah, exactly. Hey, uh -huh. RC Fun Diversions, what's up, brother? Want to say hi, man? <laughs> so you're saying that there's, there's, if it's a five gigahertz app, yeah. A gigahertz phone a 4g phone won't be able to run no because you look at if we had heath here right now and that's a shout out to the rc hunter all paid for no i'm just kidding it's not paid for but uh -huh. rc hunter heath was talking about um okay you got the x21 came with its own camera right okay well you can't you cannot he was saying you cannot uh use that camera if you have your a 4g phone say you got a 4g phone and you want to go on the app and 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 use that camera you have to have a 5g uh uh phone to be able to run that app and and be able to see out that bird's camera well, well i can i can tell you that you, know, you, you said you said x521w uh it's x21 x21 okay so it's like a was that that uh uh oh crap what's the name of that bang bang something oh oh, oh i know i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a you know that it's not popular here yet. Um, mm -hmm. um, he was who is it? Ron Brown was talking about it. Yeah, it's been out a couple of years, five gigahertz cellular, but it's not it's not really going on here yet. It, we've been stuck on four G LTE for the last few years. It's going to be yeah. another year or two before it actually starts getting anywhere over here. So well, see, so, that's yeah. why they're. Go ahead. Okay, I, so that's why you know a lot of these guys because it's it's more popular in the European countries. So that's why a lot of these guys that are from well, this one's not, but that's why a lot of these guys that are from uh you know not from the United States, they're making all these birds to run the five G system because they're you know we're gonna eventually be getting there here in the states. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. want to be for, you know more for, advanced. For some reason, European. European uh, cellular system, their Wi-Fi, and everything. I don't know why they're so much more advanced, but for some reason, they're always a step ahead. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Does that mean we're a step behind? Yes, That's we are. Right. That's we're right. Two stepping. We're two-stepping. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back to the DJI subject for a second. Go ahead. Billy, uh, the... The, the spark charging station, spark charging bag. You order all that? Yeah, I got the portable charger on order. No idea when it's going to come. Okay. But um, I was very surprised at the price point. It was $90. I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive. Yeah, it, it blew my mind. And then the, the bag's only like 18 I was like, what? What, what bag are you talking about? There, there's an actual spark charging station on the bag. Oh, there's a there's like a there's a bag for the charging station. Yeah, and it's like eight bucks. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I was like I was like what? No, no. I was yeah. Like, okay, another quick shout out here. Um, a friend of mine in Canada who is a spark owner and does a lot of cool stuff. He designs a lot of his own clothing. He's got what are those the earplug things like little holes. He designs his, and he actually makes them himself. I've seen him do videos showing that he does it. Kurt Wells, Bigfoot Life. I mean, big, big, big guy. He is big thing. He loves sneakers. The um, Adidas Ultra Boost. That rings any bells. Really, really good guy. Really good friend of mine. Um, he does, he's, like I said, got some really cool stuff. I mentioned to him about a lot of the drone pilots and stuff like to advertise their channels and stuff from YouTube. Uh, it might be game for some time in the future. Yeah. We can all hook out and work out this kind of drone. Everybody help out. Network. Uh, help us with 
Check out his channel. Uh, his, his product is maybe uh, very, very nice in nature. Uh, I, but I love the way he comes across. He's very funny, very, very blunt, very unique. All his humor is adult, but but a great guy, really good friend. Lives probably about two hours from me in Canada. But if you get a chance, like I said, uh, Bigfoot Life here on YouTube, go check him out. Adult humor is not acceptable. Oh, my word. Then we must strike the last few videos you have produced, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. I can understand some people, but, but you're you're a grown man. <laughs> yeah. Be bubble gum and gum drop. <laughs> the thing that the, the fact that you got ripped on for saying a curse word because their four year old watches your DJI drone videos. As we all know, these are brushless drones that I'm sorry I probably would not trust my four year old grandson with without extreme adult supervision. Yeah, no, definitely not. So I, I find it kind of bad that they got for pressing extreme. You're breaking up there. Well, oh, maybe I should turn the microphone back around from where I had it towards the... Uh, oh, wow, that, that, makes, that makes sense. Hey, there he is. Yeah. I'm still maybe maybe I shouldn't have had my uh, cups of chocolate milk before we got started. Uh, but yeah, I was pointing towards the the speaker. Uh, hey, I'm back. <laughs> but anyway, are you in there? Huh? What? So what what subject should we bring up now? Uh, I don't know. It about seems history. like shampoo. Seems like Seems like pretty pissed off. We're talking about DJI. Well, no, we were talking about first off about how you got ripped on for saying a couple of cuss words in your videos. And now, folks, for anyone watching out there, he did that because we told him he needed to be more Billy, not. So <laughs> I'll blame it on you. And candy, and you know Sundays, and you know, we're sorry if we offended the Barney crowd. We, we okay. suggested that to him. It's our fault. The Barney crowd. I love it. <laughs> but, well, I mean, I didn't know Barney flew drones, but apparently he does. Well, God, I'm, I'm in the Barney club because I don't even have a DJI. Nothing. My DJI is out there. Should have yeah. taken advantage of those Black Friday sales. No, never. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. And I'm no, gonna, that's okay. You know, I'm going to tell Stephen Merritt. You should have already gotten one. No. I don't know. I just watched a video. I will, not, I will not go to the dark side. I watched a poor guy have bad luck with two of those. And I don't know. It's still up in the air for me. Yes, but Donnie, how long have I had this drone? Yeah, but how many times have you flown it? Half a day? No, I'm just playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it made me snort. I made my snorkel. I've probably flown this drone 40 times already. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I believe you. I just, you know, well, first it. of all, I'm broke I, as hell. I, so I, wouldn't be able I, to I, would, I would love one of those, but nobody's selling it over here, and I will not buy it unless they're selling it over here. And I, and I can actually grab somebody by the neck. Oh, okay. Now nah, I get what you're saying. I got you. I was like, wait a minute, but they're all made over there before they get yeah. sold over here. But it, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So you can actually be like, hey, 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 it don't work. No, 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 no. You can't get away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It can't, can't be some guy on, on, on the phone going, no, we're sorry. We send it to you when we can. No, exactly. it wasn't meant to be bad. I'm just no, saying. Mine's always, oh, you got wrong number. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly wrong. You call C fly. You call C fly. You buy a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, those guys. You know, one one thing about them. Oh my God. You know, Bill. We've been going rounds and round with them guys at first. You know, first people didn't believe me how aggressive they were until they 
tried to work their charm into other groups and, and we were just like no, no, no. also this that, that chick over there just got so no you sell i'm like what do you mean i sell this is my group i'm not selling nothing i said send me a drone i'll test it to let you know if it, oh no we have professional for that and i'm like oh okay yeah all right you know i just what a mess that was good yeah. lord wait 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 you all want to see the professional they thought they had <laughs> here we go <laughs> Is it where we're just staring at the at the uh, the power uh, towers for ten minutes every film, and it looks like the same one, and then you just dub a little bit of a different scene in it? And, well, th the thing about it was was when when Chandler finally posted a yeah. video that was actually taken with the bird, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you could we we told him we said, dude, the gimbal is just out there; it's never. Yeah. And in every video that we've seen, and Ron posted a new video, and yes, it, it the fit, the footage was better, but it was a super super bright day. Mm -hmm. so with that camera being exactly. a five megapixel camera, that was the optimum settings for getting a good picture. But it was still going. Brrr. Yeah, but you know, and, and not just a gimbal issue. I mean, look at look at uh, DJ from Soul Force. I mean, he was having problems right off the bat with that thing, and it wasn't just the filming. It just wasn't working right. And same with, uh, what's his name from, uh, was it uh, trucks and trains and whatever that was? Oh, my God. He couldn't even do the film. He said, I'll, oh, I'll get, I'll, you know, I'm going to film the flight later. And, you know, I don't know. I mean, he's a nice guy. He's a great reviewer. I'm not talking bad about him. He's not, he wasn't going, got to get it, guys. He was just trying to figure out what was going right. on, I guess. All right. All right. All right. I got, I got, I got to give props where props is due. Bob was busting our balls for being DJI therapy. As I saw that. Drone therapy. All right, Bob. All right. All right. You got it. Bob, I'm toy drone therapy. I don't have no good stuff. <laughs> I got toys. If I want to have toy therapy, I'll, 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 I'll be uh, more than open every Saturday. You guys are more than welcome to join. Let's <laughs> Let's see how many trees we can cut with the X uh, with the X8 Pro. So anybody's more than welcome to come by, and we'll trim trees. You know. <laughs> yeah. There we go. yeah. I need a few trees trimmed in my backyard. You coming over? Yeah. Anytime. Oh, so that, you know, it's automatic. You don't even have to program anything. It just automatically goes right to the hey, tree. Hey, wait, Wild Man's here. Wait, wait. Here we go. There here we, we go. go. Let's open this. Hey. Up. hey. There he is. There he is. Mr. He Dan. Is he? Mr. Dan. What's up? <laughs> Mr. Dan. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. You know, I, I just watched <laughs> a gentleman, and I was on 2.4 gigahertz. Everybody I've been talking to has been running the 5.8, but they've been going to the manual and, and putting in, like, I think, channel, like, 157. But, see, I'm in a whole different area with – tons of hot spots so i want to give it a try sometime i just been having crappy weather so i need to go and try it i did a hard reset too you know i did that hard reset by holding this you know for like 15 seconds then it does its thing for about five minutes the camera realigned itself again so now i just need to take it out there and uh well you guys know i had the fly pad to begin with but you know, I'm running the Stylo. Uh, I, I know you're riding the Stylo uh, LG phone. I'm running the Stylo 3, so I think I'm just on the wrong, uh, you know, Wi-Fi channel. I, I'm gonna, I, I hope that's it. I, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt. I just have to say something real quick. It's 5, gigahertz, five gigahertz digital, which is not 5.8 gigahertz. That's an RF. That's a radio. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so, uh, Donnie, uh, a lot of people are complaining about not being able to use 2.4 with the fly pad. Actually, you saw my video today where I was calling yeah. people out, asking people to tell me what device they were currently using. I'm, it, it works on my LG Stylo. It also works on my Lee Echo S3 that Steven sent me uh, for 2.4 and 5. And, uh, I, I, uh, I mean... The fly pad seems to be particular device to device. Some people are going to be able to use it properly and other people aren't. Um, I know that Parrot put out a warning saying not to use Bebops or not to use fly pads with the Bebop devices. And I don't think that it's really 
comes down to the fact that the fly pad is the problem. I think it's device to device while running Bluetooth is the issue. Some devices seem to have some way to be able to cope with it, and other devices do not. Yeah, I don't exactly know what the deal is, and I don't think that Parrot does either. So instead of just saying it's a good idea to use the fly pad, what they did is they just said, we suggest that you don't use the fly pad to fly mm -hmm. your Bebop. Um, so my whole initial thing here is to find out uh, basically what devices we do know work properly and that way we can make a list for people that do want to be able to fly without having to purchase a sky controller. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I also know that I can live stream from the Bebop One while mm -hmm. using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at the same yep. time. It's uh, it's it really depends, I think, device to device what you're going to get because if I hook my I peg a classic game controller up through Bluetooth, it only works in the five gigahertz band, which is the same problem that you're having with your three okay mm -hmm. same issue uh you know and i have three other phones i'm going to test it with here to see if all of those phones have the same problem or if a couple of those are going to work so really what it's going to come down to is being able to purchase a cheap device to work for it all the time that you would just charge an only mm -hmm. device, you know for for uh flight with the fly pad so. exactly because you know what i want to try out is that uh, brian from two drone reviews was telling me he only uses the the iphone and right. you know, I've seen a lot of people use the iPhone, and I mean, they're getting out there, you know. But yeah. another thing I, I caught myself is when I turn on the app, I realized, I think when we were first discussing this, when you first got yours, I was on the all uh, channel. Instead of mm -hmm. uh, picking one gigahertz to go on, I was on all. So I think I wasn't getting a signal with the crap. Which so is weird because yeah, I can't. I just, I can't even access all. It doesn't do it for any of my phones. All it gives oh, me really? is between two, four, and five. Oh, it it lets it gives me an option to go on all, and then it'll stay on there, and it doesn't, you know. So I don't know. I, I can't wait to try it though when the weather gets better. Uh, consider this: uh, the five gigahertz is fine to run on, but it's only going to increase your video capabilities. It's not going to increase your range whatsoever. You're actually going to lose range and have better video. Uh, gotcha. So something to consider. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep testing different devices to see what works. Ah, Brian, <laughs> what's up, man? There he is. There's the man. Well, no, he's he's doing a live stream right now, too. Yeah. I can't get his live chat to come up. I was going to say, hey, I was live streaming you while we were live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> live streamception. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. I'm back to being presented again, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Were we done with the parrot talk? I'm sorry. No, no, I'm I'm totally about it, man. Uh, uh, you Wait, know, I want to look at the eyebrows. Okay, I'm good now. Right. <laughs> uh, Donnie, you you, you, me, did, you did order the 350 megabit thing, right? 330, 350. I got more chocolate milk. Is that correct? Oh, I think he froze. Oh no, we were doing this earlier. <laughs> Wait, he's, like, got, he's got this great look too. He's like, "Well, no, he's this is like the third time." He, he, he just said, "Sorry, the computer just did it again." Yeah, it, his computer keeps freezing on him. So we went through his public service announcement, and he, you know, he he only froze once or twice. But it was so funny because we were where where you came up with the gimbal overload being a Captain Cook. We now went to this is a Donnie. <laughs> that's awesome man we were gonna go with it being a vogue moment or something well i mean uh i guess we'll see donnie in a minute here you may want to eject him and just have him come back there you go yeah he does I, he does it on his own dropped out himself um you know the bebop man i think has quite a bit of potential once again i think once we get uh the, the perfect system figured out for it uh without having to purchase a sky controller which I mean, the more I think about it, Bill, the more I'm like, I really don't want to get the Sky Controller because then it feels like you're walking around with like a jet fighter cockpit strapped to your chest, which just seems weird, I guess. I don't know. You know, it's like I, I, I think I would look like a total goofball sitting in a park with two shoulder straps going to this gigantic. I, I, I can't wait to go out and do it. I can't <laughs> wait. And I want some some little ass to fucking come up to me like you look retarded. Well, you look like you got a, a big big bloody nose. 
Me and me and Steven have been going back and forth. On, on <laughs> that controller is is where it should be or not. I I think I don't know, man. I just think it seems goofy. Like uh, prepare for takeoff. You got like a whole like I I would it, it, honestly if I had that thing I would put on the whole pilot helmet and I'd get the you know a little microphone and I'd be connected to the ATC tower. I'd be got the cockpit in my hands. I'd be looking official, man. And Steven, yeah, you to go all out, bro. Right. I'm back, Donnie. When you come back, what yeah. are you gonna do? <laughs> you need to confuse us all. You need to come back in, and you need to go. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, how you doing? What's going on, guy? Anyway, yeah, Donnie. Donnie's very good at performing the mannequin challenge. Oh gotta, hell yeah! It I got it. Yep. All right, I got it perfect. We have. Hey, I did. You know, you have that cockpit thing. I want to. I'd make sure I had a bib on because I'd have that little fountain hat on, so I can have drinks and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both, just get comfortable, you know. A little cup holder on the side, and you know, strap yourself down to a chair or something in case you go zero <laughs> gravity. You know. <laughs> you know, yeah. if someone wants to donate one of those uh, deals to Dan or I, um, <laughs> please uh, leave me your information. No. <laughs> oh, and another thing, since we're on this subject. Everyone that's here, please smash that like button. Share and tell your friends to come over. Anyone that, that loves to fly drones and loves to edit video and stuff is more than welcome to be a guest. Make sure that you check out Mr. Big Drone Flyer 77, Donnie Hapton. Make sure that you check out Mr. Billy Kyle. Make sure that you check out Mr. Daniel Drone Worship Sanson. Make sure you check out Mr. Stephen Merritt and anybody and everybody that you see active on a regular basis in our chat. Because yeah, guys, Bill, Bill is going to put the link below me. Oh, is that a good one? Nice. Is that a good one? Is that yep. too much? That's good. <laughs> that was a, a Stephen Merritt. Uh, that was a Stephen. Uh, he broke out there. What was that? I, 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 what the? Yeah. Uh, the link below me? What? But be below. Oh! Oh! Baloney? Oh. Baloney sandwiches? <laughs> I gotcha! Yeah. It was uh, one of the things. The link below me? <laughs> That's the only time you can officially say that on YouTube and like get away with it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, if if I did if I figure out how to block his phone number, I'd show this, but it was funny. <laughs> anyway, um, this is on a different subject, Mr. Kyle. Since Dan is here, and well, here, and Steven is here, and I'm here, and most of us all have one of these. How many times have you flown yours? You were talking earlier about how uh, it seems difficult for you to fly. And the more you fly, the more comfortable you're going to become. And I'm not going to deny... We probably should have started you out with like the uh, X5C <laughs> because we started you off with pretty much the Cadillac of the Pioneer <laughs> manual bird. Granted, it doesn't have acro and stuff, but it's as close to that as you can get without full acro. Wait should have set him up with a solo and put it in acro mode and let him go. <laughs> Is that what you're running in the bugs three? This is your buddy, Rich. Yeah. Mr. Rich yeah. sent me the 3,000 milliamp high discharge 30C ridiculousness 2S LiPo, uh, which I just fully charged, and I'm probably going to go out and do a insane parking lot bombing test from 1,000 feet high and dive bomb a parking lot with this battery because I think it's capable of doing it, and it would be oh. awesome to see. So. Yeah, I got 19 minutes out of it. I got 19 <laughs> minutes out of that bit, yeah. that battery. Wow! I, I I know this is bad to say, but but for some reason, like every time Dan says something like that, I just I really want to see it just go wow right into the ground. Just the, all the all the arms fold back and just, just slow motion it. If you get on oh, film, this just slow motion the scattering plastic. Just wait. I have another test I'm going to do. It, not with the bugs, but with the 3DR Solo. They just released a parachute. Oh, that's the nice. Solo. I think it would be fun to take it up to like 600 feet and just turn it off. <laughs> and deploy the parachute and see oh, how the 3DR Solo handles. You scared me for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Just turn it off. Yeah, just shut it off, man. <laughs> just kill it. 
I will hold A and B and just discharge the motors right in dead middle of air and just push the uh, parachute deployment button and see what happens. Wow. That would be cool. Somebody is sending me one for testing, so <laughs> we may lose the solo and I may have to start all over. But it could be a lot of fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anything to further the sport. Yes. Right. Yes, we're good for that. Okay. It's a good battery. It's a good battery you got, Dan. I I think you're going to be surprised. You know, hopefully, you know I can't. You know I can't say I've seen people. I go, oh, check out this battery, and they're like, oh, I got like ten minutes out of it. You know, but I had a really good luck with mine, and I, and in my video, you can see. I mean, I was hammering it. I didn't sit there and make everybody watch it for you know twenty minutes. I just just kind of edited through it. But you know, I was doing flips. I was multi flipping. I was just full throttle okay, that well, thing until. Baron Tell bear, the in end. Mind, bear in mind that mine is running 5.8 at 100 milliwatts, so it's going to chew through oh, this battery right. a little bit faster. Uh, all right, yeah, Rich. I, want to I only had uh, the little uh, 25 <laughs> milliwatt uh, FPV cam on it, so it's right, not right, eating hardly really anything. Dan, can you put that up in the camera and maybe see if we can get a good focus on it, please? <sighs> all right, Rich, you see that? There you go. And, it's a, and you say it's a really, really good battery? I think it's a great sir, battery. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and test this probably tonight. I'm going to take my butt up to the uh, big open parking lot and uh, beat the living daylights out of the bugs for 20 minutes hardcore and see how it handles it. Uh, I'm going to be pushing it really hard, uh, yeah. flying in and out of trees. I'm going to be trying to do some crazy maneuvers with it. So we'll uh, we'll see exactly how much punishment I can put the battery through. And uh, I think I had about 17 minutes, I think. I think it was 17 minutes I brought it closer to me because I didn't want to lose my bugs. Right. So I brought it closer to me and just let it hover there the last the last minute or so. But I think I brought it down just under 18 minutes, and uh, the the low battery uh, sound just came on. So I think I probably had at least another minute or so. So I think if you just do a cruising and, and not hammer it so hard, I, I believe you can get 19 to 20 minutes. What? If you're hammering it, 17 to maybe 18, somewhere in there, hammering it. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Mind controller only knows one position. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm just saying. For the people that just want to cruise around, they can get a lot more longer flight out. Right, well, look, I want to take mine up like Robert Good does to like a 1,000 feet and then just <laughs> hammer the sucker straight towards Earth doing a spiral all the way down. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. But this is what, okay, now here's the deal. Back to the, how many times have you flown your Bugs 3, Billy? Wait a minute, I don't hear him. Why do I not hear him? Is he doing the Donnie? No, I don't hear him. I don't hear him. He's not muted by me. I will even unmute him. Oh, no, no. he's gone. All right, well. I got a parts transmitter if anybody ever has issues with theirs, so let me know. It's fully intact. It just doesn't has issues. So, so can can anyone hear him? No, he's doing no. sign language. We sound language. We cannot hear you speak. And Steven. Yes, sir. Oh my god, right? Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. There you go. Thing, bro. <laughs> Look at that. I'm trying to reach Mars with my G box. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? I can't uh -huh. help. It. Now, the, now the biggest question is. Um, uh, it appears he's going to work. He's waiting. Uh, yes. It appears he's texting. Uh, not nope, no arrivals. <laughs> His girlfriend's going. When the hell are you getting off, man? Yeah. <laughs> Now we say he's going to communicate through chat now. So, <laughs> <laughs> if anyone else need, no, here we go. Here we go. He's going to start doing it. Start right. There we go. Uh, can you, Billy? Can you start writing stuff on a piece of paper, buddy? <laughs> if anyone else needs a 3D R solo transmitter, I have one of those also. This one has Wi-Fi connection board problems. He's doing this, right? He's going to get it like this. And nobody backer. here. Nobody here. Did my audio just cut too? No, I'm good. Oh, I can hear you. I can okay. hear you. 
No, I need a solo to go along with that, Dan. Oh, yeah, well, solo that's the best I can do, bro. This one <laughs> has the Wi-Fi card replaced in it, but I do have a free, free, if you actually need one, I have a solo remote that's going to need a new Wi-Fi card. Are you all right, dude? He's just, cool. I, think, I think maybe he's actually just, he's being very, very quiet, so he wants to fake us into thinking his microphone doesn't work, and he's going to be like, peace, guys, I'm out. i got to get back to school later. Yeah, look at that. He's even making his crops. I'm, I'm over FUD and I'm, I'm hunting rabbits. Be very, very quiet. Well, I'm hunting rabbits. I don't know. You know what, hey, Stephen? I miss hearing your, uh, your, your reading the manual. When you start reading the What's manual. That the best? Well, that was the best. I mean, the uh, manual reading is just outstanding. I still want you to send me the audio. <laughs> send my address. Excellent. Excellent. I do. I do have ebooks available for two dollars. Billy, hurry up and get in here. I'm gonna ask you about... Come on, Bill. Come on, Billy. Hurry up. Get in here. What is the way? Wait, wait. Hurry up, Bill. Get in here. So Hello? Get in. it looks like a condom thing. <laughs> Hello. What in hey, the world is that? It's a, it's got bronze and gold. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we hear you, Billy. Hello. Hey! Yes. I'm yes. I'm, I'm now using the microphone inside of my laptop. So you're a boss. You don't have to get that close to it. We can hear you sitting in your normal chair. But <laughs> how about now? Can you hear me? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Can you hear me now? Can, can you hear me now? Hey, Bill. Yes, Billy. We hear you. Yeah. Billy. What's, what's that? What's that? Is Billy he talking yes, again? Is Billy talking again? What are those ND filters? I, I still can't hear yes. Okay, do you use these, sir? Um, not the newer ones, um, but I mean, I always use ND filters. Yeah. You always use ND filters. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one do you use the most? ND8, definitely. For that. What's that? Um, okay, so ND8 on the Phantom Four Pro seems to be the best. I can shoot at a lower aperture. Um, and then I can also adjust the aperture if I need to on the Phantom 4 Pro. But the thing is, since I've been flying the Mavic a lot more recently, um, the ND8 seems to be a little bit too low. So I think I need to start using the ND16. Now, how about your shutter rate? ND filter uh, shutter rate. So, so the shutter speed, I always try to keep, obviously, at around 60 if I'm shooting in um, 30 frames per second. But sometimes like, if I have to go up to like 80 or 100 shutter speed or bump it up a little bit, I really don't mind that much. Are you getting any blur effect when you're using your filters from high speed movement? Uh, no, not at all. Why? Okay. Well, because normally these filters will uh, cause blur effect. So I was curious if you were having problems with that at all. Shutter speed is issues it, blur effect. Is it just the newer ones that you have or, or have you experienced it with other ND filters? Well, no, these, are, these are for the solo. These are for the GoPro. But uh, okay. I, I'm, you know, a lot of people were complaining about shutter speed problems, and I didn't know if you were using any because I, I never use them for my shot. Oh, no thanks. Everybody's saying I need to start using filters, and uh, I, I'm not looking forward to it, man. Yeah, have you have you used them at all yet? Well, I did a test when I first got them and saw absolutely no difference. But people are talking about how they work, like oh, it reflects the light, and then you don't see the big streaming things through from the sun. And I'm like, okay. Well, the way the way an ND filter works is it allows less light into the camera, and then from there you can lower your shutter speed. So basically, um, if you've got a 60 shutter speed, if you if you double the frame rate, it's going to look like normal motion. But if you go and you have like a 1,000 shutter speed, it's going to look like stop motion. Like there's no motion blur whatsoever. Right. Hey, does that stop? Uh, does that stop seeing the the props in some of the shots sometimes when they're kind of coming towards the sun and once they're nah. very well, you'll see the F see the you'll yeah. always see the props. FOV no, adjustment for that. You need to adjust your FOV settings, field of view. Okay. Yeah, well, I just was curious. You're still going to get the shadowing, and there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do about that. Mm -hmm. Right, which is why you have to be selective about the times you fly throughout the day. You'll notice yeah. that a lot of the times I just don't give a damn because it's the only time I have to fly, so I'll just go out yeah. and do it anyways. Yeah. yeah, I don't care about the shutter. I don't care about that. Like people be like, "Oh God, I would have been so great without the props." It's like, ah, yeah. you know, well, okay. I did yeah. it in Pacific Grove with that with that bu uh, bugs too, and I I didn't care, but it's the only time I could get out there. Yeah. Well, and it's just like Billy and I were talking, and he was like, you know, because he was explaining to me about the 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 knowledge test and everything. 
And uh, <clears throat> I was like, I haven't flown because the weather here is not been really good. I might have a 30 to a 45 minute window where the sun comes out, but the ground's completely soaked. And I don't know for sure when it might start a downpour at any given minute. And I'm, I'm just yeah. going to put something in the air. I mean, I could get some great pictures, but I've got tons of great pictures of cloud formations and great sunsets and stuff like that. I know I can always get those here. I need to get some, some other stuff and have some better equipment to use. Like I said, because where my phone's busted up, I don't want to try to use it so much. And when we were talking about filters, uh, Billy sent me these and I'm still, still kind of wary. And I was wanting to show you all why <clears throat> and i mean they sent them to him to test out and i can understand why he didn't want to test them but they're it's a great pack but they I want, prefer lucky strikes <laughs> they want you to attach these to the spot I, I actually i didn't even open up the that pack they had sent it to me and then i sent it right over to you because i i have i now have three sets of spark filters yeah well i've got the uh the other ones now you know the polar pros mm -hmm. but you know i was these look great i love the way they're made and everything the mm -hmm. full size filter but they want you to attach this to like glue it to the gimbal that's weird and i was like ah, i you know i really like billy a lot but i don't think i want to do that <laughs> <laughs> So I've kind of like looked at him for a while. I found a good use for him. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like that, Stephen. So what do we got crazy? Oh, Donnie took a break for a minute. Is he going to pause on us again? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, Brian's in the room. I'm sorry. I see John's here. John said, hey. Okay, there was everybody was talking a little bit. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's Yoko Uno. <laughs> John said. <laughs> Yoko Uno. Seriously? Yoko, whatever his name is. That's awesome. John Lennon's wife. Wait, wait, yeah, wait a minute. Is, is Koopy done with his group? Why is he not in here? Because I know he's got the link. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, wait, we dropped Donnie again. I guess that's what happens when he goes to the... Uh... When he goes and it, it, like, pauses and switches over, then that's when he's he's about to drop out. Or were you trying to, to uh, insinuate the point when you pause? <laughs> No, it just because a minute ago it switched over to his like uh, icon picture, and then he dropped out. I, so I was just assuming that, that meant that he. Uh, you, you, you're looking for a, a, a pre-alarm. There is is what you're trying to. Yeah. Pick up yeah. At. yeah. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Kind of something as to a preliminary warning to Donnie is about to freeze, but I'm you know, back. Hey, I'm yeah, back, I'm, and I I, 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 I I thought I was watching Men in Black Three for a minute. I thought it was Men in Black Three for a minute when I see Dan there. I thought he was that bad guy on that movie. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember that one on Men in Black? Remember that guy was wearing those freaking oh, glasses yeah. built into his skin? Nice. Like a boss. Now we know what they use for the movie. Yep. It was an ND filter. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> uh, the other folks here were saying were saying Yoko Una. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Well, that's all patent now. Dan's got the sales on that one. I don't know. I think she's got the name, though. I don't know. Who knows? It's nice to know that, that, that Billy's among the speaking now. Okay, now we're going to get back to this subject, and you're not going to be able to drop out on the vocal end. How many times have you flown the bugs through? Did you not see the chat? I flew eight times. Oh. Around eight. Around hey, the video yeah. footage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, okay, I'm in trouble for not seeing the chat. Let me go back here. You, I was, you, I was you gonna flew around your that. yard eight times. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's uh, what I'm limited to right now. His dad's got a big yard. Yeah. 
and have, is that what they call it these days? We, get, <laughs> we often have, have Billy's dad's backyard, big yard, backyard envy. Yeah. As long as back is in there somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, are you getting better with it? Do you enjoy flying it more? I, I do feel a lot more comfortable, and especially with the landing. I, if you saw my video when I was trying to land it, it took me like about a minute. Yeah. Um, but again, the thing that has holding me back is that charger. It's like on the charger for like hours. I'll just I'll plug it in overnight, and I'll be like, "Dad, unplug it when you wake up." <laughs> wow, that's yeah. I don't. I think you have a faulty charger. That's that doesn't sound right. Yeah, you um I know John. I think I think he linked me some stuff over Facebook of like a charger that I need to pick up. Um but I and I used to play airsoft when I was younger and it's like the same thing. Like these batteries just suck. And well, the chargers too. Dan just showed you a really really yeah. good battery for the Bugs 3. Yeah, that battery. What, what I what is the battery in the like how much how much can it hold? The regular one that comes with the Bugs. Uh, I believe what is it, 1800 milliamp? Yeah, is it? Oh, I'll tell you in a sec. So that's almost double. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, 1800 milliamp. Yep. Yeah, I just can't read what C is. That's the thing, Billy. You've got like, like, GearBest is like drooling to get you to review and, stuff. Uh, and and Rich would be more than happy to send you batteries for the Bugs Three for you to review. So uh, you how do you know, review a battery, though? Huh? How do you review a battery? Um, what do you mean? I'm going to show you video. tonight. Watch, watch my battery. video, Billy. Watch my video. Go back and watch the Bugs. Hey, 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 Billy. <laughs> are you a hobbyist or are you not, sir? Yeah, I'm a hobbyist. Okay, well, then you got to figure out how to scientifically break things down and take data. Hey, check this out, man. There it is, 25C. 25C, and this is a 35C at 3,000. Ooh. Nice. Are you talking punch out or what, man? Yeah, it's sick, man. It actually does uh, very well for punch out. I already ran it once just to see how it was going to function. Honestly, man, I got tired of standing in the same spot. My feet started to hurt, so I finally just gave up on killing the battery. And yep. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly that what I said, too. I said, you know what? It's I love flying the bugs, but I was, I was, it was just too much. I was kind of tired of it. It was up in the air so long. I was like, oh, my God, okay. I know. It. Yep. Yeah, I was very surprised. I thought, man, I hope this hurries up, and I want to hear the beep from the controller. Yep. Please hurry. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, I'm going to be straight up with you. You know what? Uh, when my DJI birds are in the air, I never wish for that. <laughs> You're also not strapped goggles to your face. It's one thing to be in your goggles for four minutes. It's an entirely different thing to be strapped into goggles for a 19-minute flight. How about uh, how about those new uh, DJI racing goggles? Those, yes, are, those. those are pretty cool. Yeah, for yeah. They still look huge, man. Oh, no, they're, they're the same size. In fact, they're bigger because they have the little antenna on the side if you want to count that, but they're more obnoxious. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hey, what do you think of my new drone, man? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. You want me to go grab them? I'll go grab mine. No, oh, mine's got a little gap at the bottom where I can still look down. I can still look down with my with those uh, 800Ds, which is kind of cool, so that way I can see my controller if I needed to. Well, no, I, I understand that, but those things are so huge. You know? Yeah. You know, we're talking – racing goggles are usually like – I mean, even the smaller box goggles or like Fat Shark, you know. And and, yeah, like, Amway or Fat Shark or anything like the that. The Fat Shark goggles are so skinny. They are like perfect. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the cool thing about the the – DJI goggles using them, the Mavic is that it's wireless. It's like, I don't know, just looks awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a shout out that we have forgotten already. Uh, Dan is personally good friends with Mr. Ken Heron. Billy is good friends with Mr. Ken Heron. They both, Dan, Dan is looking to fly with Ken in the future, and Billy has already flown with Ken. If, mm -hmm. if Ken can keep up with the solo. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, a little Did challenge. You have a race with Ken Billy? Did you have a yeah, race? he made me use the Mavic, so of course I lost. <laughs> I race anybody, anywhere, anytime. If you have a camera platform bird with the solo, 
It's not even a race. Sure about that? Phantom 4 Pro is pretty I'm cool. positive. Acro mode, 80 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Solo has it beat. <laughs> Solo has it beat on the speed, man. Dude, all all the way. Punch out everything. I have to agree with Dan. It will smoke it. I keep trying to tell Billy that he doesn't understand. Yeah, you don't believe it. You need to get together. What, what if I picked up an Inspire 2? What's that? <laughs> I said, what if I picked up an Inspire 2? Still not going to beat it on speed, man. You're still oh, talking about 60. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, I don't know about that one. Inspire, two, about Inspire that. 2, the Inspire 2 top speed in the beginning, they advertised as 72 miles an hour, and then they had to decrease that. I don't know why they decreased it. They ended up. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing people fly the Solo and Acro at 87 plus. So. Well, I've got I've gotten my Phantom 4 Pro to 70 I, with favorable gust of winds. Uh oh. But every time. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah. so we, we could just take off an Acro mode and just smoke it. Oh. <laughs> quick. Well, okay, but the whole point is is we're talking about yes, the Solo has Acro mode and stuff, but as for a sheer camera platform mm. you're not going to put a 20 megapixel camera on a solo and if so how are you going to do that a 20 megapixel camera on a solo that's what why, the, is, it not, why is it not possible well you got okay. box that can do stabilized footage i mean what's what's the hold up okay Just, so, I haven't done it yet okay but uh, well, so basically what we're saying is out of the box the quality footage that the Phantom mm -hmm. 4 Pro is going to give you is going to be better. But granted, if you compare price point to what it's going to cost, yes. Mm -hmm. But eventually you're going to run into the same problem that you've run into with the Ghost Pro 1. You're going to run out of parts eventually. Well, no, we and we've discussed that. Uh, it's fun right now because they keep adding new wonderful technology to it. Uh, and and I'm sure the open solo guys will get tired of it, but from what I've seen, introducing the green cube has changed the entire platform all over again. So probably for the next four or five years, the solo's still going to be around with no problems. Oh yeah. Uh, Speaking of which, is anybody? I, I haven't seen any of the reviews for the the new Sky Viper with the cube in it. Oh oh, the the little uh, Arducopter. Yeah, uh, system that they're running for uh, understanding mission waypoints and uh, open source. Well, no, I, I, didn't I, he tell us that time, or didn't he tell you that time? Yes, that you were putting something in that Sky Viper, the newest one. It's already out. Okay. It's uh, they are selling it currently. I think price points like one forty-five to one fifty, and uh, but but as Stephen stated, it's it's a learner's quad for understanding open source and Arducopter. It's not really for, uh, you know, it, the camera on it sucks, the brushed motors. I mean, it's it's a very, just for getting into the first stages of understanding Arducopter. It doesn't have, like you were saying, the redundancies of the sensor capabilities that the Solo has and all the other fun stuff. So, Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is it an upgrade from the initial GPS system that the Sky Viper had put on that bigger bird? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's almost an entire green cube installed inside of it. So, I mean, it's a complete open source platform for Arducopter. You can go as crazy as you want to with designing your own firmware and stuff you want it to do. Hell, you can make it do synchronized flying at that point. So if you had a program you could tap into, then you could run 150,000 of these things all at one time, and each one does its own thing running on Arducopter. So. Okay, that's that's because I, I didn't really have a full understanding of how it worked and stuff. Uh, something else that, that uh, like Tommy had asked me and Ron had potentially brought up and stuff about how uh, birds under $200 that were worth the money. And I was actually trying to think of stuff and I'm thinking, you know, bugs too for the GPS drone and uh, as far, and, and I love the, like that little drone with the two axis gimbal that he hooked us up with the, uh, um, what is it? The WL Toys. Uh, yeah, the Sex W66 or 66, whatever it is. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The one with the little white, the big white bird with all the LEDs. Like the whole thing is a giant LED. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I just gave mine to my roommate who crashed it into a bridge and broke the leg off it. So. <laughs> but yeah, I've never for a two-axis. 
toy gimbal, this thing works phenomenally. That thing looks so weird. It looks really weird to me. I don't Dude, know. It, night, it, looks, it looks awesome. It looks real wide, I guess. And, and you, it's so super bright in the air. It's yeah. ridiculous. It, it's unreal even at night, man. It lights up the whole sky. Looks cool, though. And then, like I said, for a two-axis toy gimbal, this little booger works phenomenally. <laughs> the pullback it has is how the bird itself shakes from the brushed motors. <clears throat> so the footage is a little shaky. but it and It's got a pretty darn cam good camera on it, at least. Yeah, a two-megapixel camera. Yeah, it's okay, though. I mean, you know, for someone that just wants to get that shot and they're just starting out, I think it's not that bad, you know, for, you know. No, this is this is something you never thought you would hear on my channel again. And and I hate to say this word, but I'm going to. Unique. Yeah, I heard it. Hubson. Oh, oh, no. Uh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Recover, oh, recover. Uh, oh, Dan, Dan's cussing on here. Here goes the video. I'll be right back. I gotta go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I so so uh, me and Sean Brooks. I don't know if you guys know Sean Brooks. Uh, you guys know him? Is he on your channels at all? I think so. He gets around quite a bit. Uh, big drone flyer, uh, Donnie. He's definitely a fan of yours, Captain Cook. Bunch of yeah, no, no. You go ahead and just take that. And I think there's a trash can, Donnie. Wait, I want to hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Rabbit, it's falling out and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, I just like the uh, camera on. It's not a bad camera. Well, and here's the thing. So Sean was like, look, dude, I know you talked a bunch of crap about the 109S and all the VRS problems it had when it first came out. And I was like, well, it's the truth, man. It had VRS problems. And he goes, oh, no, 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 no. You've got a bunch of solo props over there for testing. And I was like, <laughs> oh, let me get this right. <laughs> going to send me a Hubson 109S advanced transmitter and bird for testing. Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get if Hey, man, whatever makes you float your butt, dude, we'll test it. I won't be biased. I won't be opinionated towards the company, but I will be honest about the bird. So, interestingly enough, he bought one, and he sent it, and he bought a battery, and the, the controller and everything already showed up. I'm just waiting on the bird portion of it now. Um, so, I, I never thought I would have another Hubson product on my channel, to be honest. The reason I'm doing this is because Sean is hell-bent on proving the fact to me that the master air screw props and the solo props make a major difference to how the Hubson 109S functions. So, for all of you watching that watch my channel, even Steven knew this was coming, that is the reason for the new Hubson shirt that says, I wish I had a Hubson, Sean Brikes strikes again. Come on, put a smile on your face, Dan. Well, I mean... <laughs> you can deal, just have Sean send it to me. You know, I don't mind taking that damn <laughs> stuff off your guys' hands, you know. And I I'll fly, son of a bitch. I'll fly it over water. I'll fly it everywhere. <laughs> I told him I'd keep it, play with it, and do more things to it, and remind everyone that I'm not affiliated with Hubson at all. So that is what we're going to do. Wait, can you say that in the mic again about Hubson? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Did, did you miss it? Okay. <laughs> we, got not, him. we got him, guys. We got him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to going a second round with Hubson again. That's for sure. I'm not going to go through all that again. John was asking, John Heights was asking how the G box modification worked out. And we have not had an opportunity to test it yet. I got so busy on my day off that we did three videos that day. And then I woke up and did the Christmas video today. And then it's a whole nother week before I have a day off. Did I still have quads sitting in there from RC moment? I haven't even touched yet that have been pulled out of the box and haven't even been played with yet. So I'm so far behind in making videos. It's not even funny, man. <sighs> I'd still try. Like What's that? I still like oh, I, on the yeah. egg. Yeah. <clears throat> still working six days a week, man. There's no break. I still want to deal on the egg. The egg. The <laughs> egg. It, it was twenty eight ninety nine 
uh, the other the introductory, day? I could have beat myself. Remember the introductory? It was like, what, $12? And I was oh. like, <laughs> you know, and I was like, why didn't I get it then? You want, you want my Tenergy egg? Just give me your address. I'll send you my Tenergy egg. I want that Tenergy it's thing. thing. No, it's, no, no, no. it's almost. It's just don't have no camera. No camera. Huh? No camera on it though. Why don't you Honestly, give I really want to test the power egg. That thing looks sick, dude. It oh, looks that. Stu yeah, I want to fly it into like an ostrich's nest and like <laughs> land it there and see if uh, ostrich tries to like you know incubate it. <laughs> I'll probably have an eagle come and pick it up and fly <laughs> right? off. <if> I... <laughs> there you are. Just take off with it, like shit. <laughs> Come on, Billy. That was funny. Don't freeze up on me, man. Hey, don't do a Donnie. Don't do a Donnie right now, man. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait. My internet, my internet's all right. I just moved to the basement, and uh, I've got an extender down here. It's, it's all right. <laughs> that's, all right. That's definitely right. what they call it these days. All right. Extender. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Huh. Wi-Fi extender. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is that what it is? Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, a minute. wait, 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 wait. He's, he's like, wait a minute. He's 20 years old. He doesn't need one of those yet. <laughs> <laughs> the need for the little blue pill. Oh, it's just wait, dude. Gravity takes effect at some point. Everything grows longer. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait a minute. You're not my husband. What did you do with him? But honey, I'm a middle-aged man now. Everything drops at this time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that you found a new lady in your life. And when when are we gonna get this this new um uh your girlfriend flies your drone video? I'm working on it. I gotta just find an open day. Uh, this weekend I'm I don't know. I might I might try to film it this weekend, but I just want to wait till there's like good weather, uh, and I don't really have anything to do all day, so I don't have to rush it. Billy, but, your hair your hair looks like a chia pet, bro. Why is it so frizzy? <laughs> frizzy. And you got like little strands kind of because he's in the really basement. well against the white background. Also, the lady that cut my hair really messed me up. It Maybe was like shouldn't have the sheet behind you. Like what is behind you? I, I have to see now. What is behind you? It's a uh, it's Rock actually table. my it's my ping pong table with a sheet. So I have a nice white background rather than my bedroom because a oh, lot of people were complaining about my bedroom. Totally. Yeah. Studio quality, man. I'm digging it, bro. Yeah, he, he I've got the uh, I've got the uh, soft box lights here. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Uh, and the and then, then behind that, there's another the sheet. Yeah, there's the, there's the there's the porn actors getting prepared behind you. Okay, but does Final Cut have like a a, a chroma key? You know that you could like throw up whatever you want to behind you if you like chroma out the white. <laughs> Probably. Green screen, man. Oh, probably, even better, but with the, with the white with the white sweatshirt, you could be a floating head. Yeah. <laughs> could you imagine? That would be so cool, man. You could be like doing we could be doing drug therapy, and you'd just be like a floating head. When I first got my license, my first license picture, I had a blue background and a blue shirt on, so I straight up looked like a floating head. Uh -huh. It's some of the funniest. Shit. Can, but can you can you promise me right now that behind that sheet, underneath the ping pong table, isn't a is your new girlfriend in a bloody white sheet? <laughs> <laughs> I got hefty bags. <laughs> no, I'm 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 actually happy that that Billy has found a new girl in his life mm. that approves of his drone fetish yep. and, 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 and is involved and she loves him doing YouTube videos and that's you need the support of a good woman and you'll go far. Exactly. I'm telling you, it took me 40 plus years for me to find the right woman. And when I found the right woman, she'll probably have to shoot me to get me to go. <laughs> this is like turning into some Dr. Phil stuff right now. Well, no, I'm just saying <laughs> it helps to have the right lady in your life. We all know. I, that. I agree. It's no more drone therapy. It's like some actual therapy. <laughs> well, no, it's actually drone therapy because I, now all the married men and all the men in relationships know that when you come home with a new drone, sometimes you might sleep on the couch for a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, look, I got a new drone. How much it cost? Only $350. It was on sale. Why is all my cuff on the couch? 
not if you say, oh, well, these are the, remember, I ordered some light bulbs. Oh, wait, 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 where are we going? Come on, <laughs> keep going. I don't have that problem. I just bring bartenders home and send them on their way. <laughs> I get out of the shower and they normally like, oh, what are you doing? Like, why are you still here? <laughs> wait a minute. That's how you get rid of them. He says, putting flow drones, do you want to come with me? Oh, I'm out of here. I have a question. So why? Why are you still here? What? Did you not read the doorknob instruction pamphlet that I left on exactly. the back of the counter? <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, hey. The hey, Dronon's in here. And Brian's been here for a while, man. Oh, has he? And well, come on. I don't exactly. I'm just not. The RC is in the house. Did any did anybody get mad yet and and go betray betrayal on me? Has it happened yet? I would do anything like that. Okay. Or, uh, so. no, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Brian said, "He said my wife doesn't want to hear about drones, so I told her I sold the paint gun on eBay." <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I don't know if I might have to think of something besides paint gun on eBay, though. I'm I'm, I'm telling you, say so, say so you ordered like a freaking I don't know, like the, the, what do you have? Cats, maybe or something. And this is this. I ordered a six pack to cat treats. I have wiener dogs. Speaking of which, I got to take Sparky into the vet tomorrow. So I'm hoping everything goes well. How old are you again? He's uh, almost three years old, four years old, almost four years old. And they go, they had to put him to sleep to like clean their teeth. Oh, uh, wow. You know, I'm still going to worry no matter what. But I mean, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going to worry. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, not, to, not, to, not to, you know, shit on your parade there, but uh, we. We have a big issue with that because we, uh, yeah, it was a given it was a ferret, but they they talked us into having his teeth cleaned, and he 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 died from anesthesia. Oh wow! Well, no, Sparky's been under before when he got neutered, so I know he can handle the anesthesia. I'm not worried about that. It's just, but I'm still gonna worry. And yeah. I'll be upset if if he dies too. I don't know what to say, but anyway. Back to the drone world subject. Um, so you said it's going to be a little more wild. What? So you're going to come up with the, the the spark. Did we get through all ten questions, really, or did we just do two or three? I, mean, uh, I think we did two or three, but I mean, I, I think that all oh, the other ones are just too easy. The one question I I, I will bring this up. It got me a little bit confused. Um, it, me. it is. What privacy laws apply to the apply to the operation of a drone? And um, the quest or the um, the choices were: a) there's no privacy laws that apply; b) the FAA's privacy regulations; c) Federal Trade Commission rules; and d) state and local laws concerning surveillance and invasion of privacy that apply to other technologies. I thought it was going to be either b or d, the one it, that was like really long. It, it should have been d. It, it is d, yeah. Um, but I, I also thought that B would have been, I thought that, you know, FAA's privacy regulations, I don't know, but I think that D does sound like the better choice. Okay. But, but in this well, 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 it's because it's, it's a state and local regulation. FAA has nothing to do with local privacy laws. Yep. We're, we're taught, we're talking public and, uh, you know, um, that kind of bill like private property and so on and so forth. Yeah, but then, then you're going to create a gray area, aren't you? Because some people are going to think that if a drone is up 100 feet, even over your own property, you could potentially surveil their, their property while you're above your own. Well, that's the rule here. You have to prove, but here in Nevada, you have to be at least 100 feet above someone's private property or they can get you. Really? Hey. Yes. What it's you guys? Directly above your own property. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. But they, they also have to prove 
that you are a hundred feet above their or, or lower than a hundred feet below their below that yeah you know on their property so you get a clear picture yeah i guess yeah. and what were you gonna say dan oh did i tell you guys i got a dji spark no you're you're jerking us man you're not you're not no really what what's so hard to believe man no. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You went and dug through the pile. You're like, oh, look, this is going to be funny. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be funny. No, look, look, a little transmitter goofy thingy thing. Donnie's got one. Donnie's yeah. got one hey. like that, too. Yeah. That, so transmitter, cool. that transmitter doesn't look that terrible. Remember the, the little Mavic that John had, that floppy, like, orange-looking transmitter? That one sucked. But we're unboxing this on camera here with a burrito because that sounded good right now. Oh, the was smoke. it a 7-Eleven microwave burrito? Oh, yeah, it is. See, right there. Uh, excellent. Excellent. The lights off. This thing yeah. smells like, I don't <laughs> know. Asian lights are off. Lights are off. Be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, look at this. It feels so expensive. <gasps> oh, wait, my wait. God. Look at these fake antennas. These are awesome. Oh. We were talking about that earlier. Donnie was talking about wiring an FPV 5.8 to 1 and then running an extra long line out of the other side for an extension of the TX cable to make them actually active antennas. It's a nose picker. <laughs> yeah. Now how does this come out, Donnie? Oh, look at I'm a yeah. magician. Ooh. Ooh. You see the magic? Oh, oh. oh balling, oh, that. sir. That's where you hide your cash. Put your wallet in there. Look at that, that, dude. Sure. Boom, this is official, man. Guys, I own a spark. Uh, yep. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you got the spark, <laughs> and I got it. That is in the room. Does that have a uh, 4K sensor and doesn't can't shoot 4K? Yeah, it doesn't even fit my phone. Man, that, that, that thing can shoot <laughs> RC Stop. Hunter is in the house. What's up, Heath? Okay. Hey. Dude, it doesn't even fit my phone, bro. Yeah, oh, I broke it. That's what we're saying? The RC Hunter is in the room. Oh, hey. Yes, hey the world up? famous. Yes, the world hey. famous. Speaking of the RC Hunter. The, the rock star. I really, 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 really love to have a Phantom 3 standard. And I had even sent a, a, a message to Mr. Kyle because I know he has some intermediate DJI contact. <clears throat> and I was thinking about what great PR it would be for DJI to send this wonderful gentleman in the UK a Phantom 3 drone that he could review and tell everybody in the world about how great DJI was and how great the American Billy Kyle was to help him out. <laughs> and they were like, oh, screw you, bro. Do they even sell the, do they even sell the Phantom 3 anymore? I think they have the fan. They have the Phantom Three SE. They got rid of all the other ones, though. Oh. This is so much victory. But they have to keep the. They have to keep one out there to get the person to get angry because they're like, I I must have that next one. So they have to at least everybody have has to be a step behind the other one. You know, hey, you, know, you know, like, you know, like lower class, middle class, higher class, you know. Donnie, mm -hmm. don't do anything. Just sit still. Damn, that guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was Donnie doing? I missed all that. Just sit still. Was he attempting to freeze again? <laughs> Did you hear what I said, Bill? No, I was getting the last of my chocolate milk. I said, hey, Donnie, don't do anything. Just sit there, bro. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, and he's gone. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here it was. It was like earlier when we were watching the SEMA video and we were talking about Donnie having mind control. That's what it was. Dan was like, I have the force to over Dante's internet. Wait. Oh, God, he's back fast. What happened, man? My phone this time guys the hell with that damn thing 
Uh, <laughs> tired of the computer. I, I switched over to the phone, man. See if I can prop it up somehow here since the headphones are at the bottom of these LG phones. All right, y'all. There we go. Back to school. All right, man. Thank you, Billy. We see cool. you, Billy. Really, thanks for having me. We'll see you. Hopefully, see you, Billy. Really. Yeah, man. Next Wednesday, I'll be here. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. See you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, right. Dan's eating again. What are we having? What? Oh. <laughs> Ketchup. I'm having yeah. turkey. Turkey and mashed potatoes. No. Thank my, my wife was so happy tonight. She used up the last of the turkey from Thanksgiving. Oh. It was super I happy. I had another one. <clears throat> I'm having a turkey. I, I, I can't <laughs> wait for turkey and rice soup. I'm this having a turkey. I'm for Oh, no, no, no. Elegant burrito from 7-Eleven with Ooh. some wonderful Buffalo Baby Ray. Sweet. Oh, I got some in the fridge right now. That is good sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he drinks his glass of milk. Yes. Yeah. Mm. One of the benefits. Well, I won't be able to get you guys' live chat, but I can at least talk to everybody. One one of the benefits of being close to the ocean, we can get a killer deal on. Oh yeah, crab legs, no crab. No, no, not snow. Right. Oh, that's wild golden crab. crab. Okay. Yes, you see, we're talking king crab. Oh, I miss I miss crabbing over there in uh, in Oregon. Go out to the north the uh, north spit out there in Coos Bay. That was so fun. Clam digging and all your free food. Yeah, exactly. We have a, a killer, like, uh, local kind of thing. They kind of have them all over the West Coast. I don't know if you got them down there. Cash and carry. And, like, we mm -hmm. can get crab legs for, like, $11 a pound at cash and carry. Yep. I like getting some tri-tips sometimes with the prices right. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Mm, that's all I hear. <laughs> <laughs> I get so and everything else down here because I'm right on the coast. So yeah, you get all kinds of stuff. I see they, I see they caught that uh, suspect killer in Florida, huh? I watched oh, that on the news before yeah. we came on here. Oh, they, got, they got the the strangler. They got the him. serial killer or whatever. Guy that killed like five or six people. Yeah, the guy down in, in Florida, twenty four years old, uh, uh, a black young man. Mm -hmm. so I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't have anybody locked in my basement right now with lit cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's Billy Kyle. Billy Kyle's got the guys naked and handcuffed in the back. But uh, he's, got a, he's got a good. <laughs> he's gonna stick with it. So, uh, but uh, back to the the, the two hundred dollar drones, and I was talking about the CX twenty three. We were talking about the the you know the bugs two and. A little WL toys, whatever. Like Dan was spurting it out. What else actually around the 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 two hundred dollar and under range is something good for introductory people to start with? Now, but now that that's a matter of opinion because I hear sometimes you know uh, <laughs> you might you might not want to start a per person out with uh, you know brushless. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Bam. I got this Osenma, right? Everyone needs to have it. It's the best drone on the market. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. They're amazing. Get yourself one. Bam. Oh, well, bam. I think everybody needs a X8 Pro, you know, to get your own little weed trimmer there. And, and if you don't like somebody, I'll chase them down and it'll come right after them. So. <laughs> You know, trim your trees, it'll walk the kids, it'll even fly the dog to the vets. Hey, the kids make you mad, it'll even chase the kids off. Yeah, it might not come <laughs> either. If I, had, if I had to pick one, one that I could I could honestly say is a nice beginner is the XKX 300. Mm -hmm. XKX 300. Trying to think of which one that is. Okay, explain, Stephen, because I'm not sure either. I'm not too sure which one that is. The only one I know that, uh, that I'm always going to say the same thing, and Dan's going to say it probably too. The best beginner drone I ever thought of was the 
the X five C. So, I, I and yeah. I get I get that I get that, but I am just I've never been a fan a, a fan of uh, you know non altitude hold drones. The X five C was know, my a, the X five C was a my good first one, and I just didn't like it though. I don't know. I it was hard for me. I'm gonna put a video together when I get back to my parents' place. I got some downloads of me flying the X five C for the first time. Just the camera views from the bird. You guys are gonna laugh because I mean I, I I get like two feet up and it's already in a tree or it's you know off the side of the hills where I can fly nothing. But you know what? Once I once I figured it out and then I started to be able to do like figure eights and all that stuff, then those were just simple to fly. It sure helped me out. I thought you know at least for me. Well, well yeah, if you're I think in it's a pretty wide, cool to just grab them and throw them in space, you know. It works perfectly in, oh, no, that's, in space. No, that's the Hubson H502E. They go in space. They just <laughs> never come back. They just never come back. So okay, now you all were talking about the parrot and stuff earlier. I, I mm -hmm. really and and Steve and I have talked about this. I've mentioned it to Dan. I'm really interested in the 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 two power. I don't know. Why the extra setup makes me, you know, interested in it, but I think that's the way I'm going to end up going. The what? The power. Bebop, Bebop two power. That's what he's talking about, Dan. I want the Bebop two. I think it's pretty cool. I want it as well. Oh wait a minute. I, just, uh, I already have it. Well, I was just. I want the Bebop two. Power. Send me one. Anybody send me a Bebop 2, and I will go and say your name on the video and all that. How's that? It's your, it's your <laughs> fault, Donnie. You were talking about that fly pad uh, a month or so ago, and I was like, well, now I've got to buy another parrot product. Keith is saying that somebody yes. banned him or something, and I can't. Yeah, what is that? I'm not I, finding I, any. Is anybody finding anything in the chat that's saying that? I'm not. I'm not somebody, on chat right now because I'm somebody, on my phone. Somebody banned who? Somebody was trying to say that uh, Heath was telling me that he got banned, and I'm not. There's nothing showing saying that he's blocked or timed down or anything. And yep. well, out. well, well, if it it happened, it was, it was it it it, it it's just there's no record of it. Yeah, I'm not on chat. I'm not on chat, so I can't see anything because I'm just. I, I, I am. Chat. I am. I've been looking at the chat, you know, every every minute or two, but there's there's no record of it if that actually happened. Yeah, that's well, what that's we a... can figure out, Heath. We can't find the because he's saying he got timed out. I was just wanting to bring it to everybody's attention because I, I, nobody in the room would have done it. Everybody knows Heath. I don't think anybody. Yeah, would. I can... Oh yeah, yeah. I get. Could it be talking about the, the John just mentioned it here? He's like, could we talk about the thing? Like, if you type something in, you press enter, and you type something in, press enter, it won't send it because you typed them too fast. Yeah, but he's saying he got a three-minute timeout. Is what he's. Yeah. Huh. yeah, he's saying he's banned from the from the group. He can't even get on the live chat at all. Hmm. So, and uh, like, and and I'm looking. I can't find it. I even made him a mod. Yeah, Bob's even talking about he can't find anything. We we don't know. It doesn't make any sense what's going on. <clears throat> there is definitely no record. So I'm just trying to figure out what may have happened. It may or may have not happened. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Well, that's what pretty... I'm I can't find anything showing that he got banned. It, there's there's no apparent record. I mean, I, I can tell you that right now. But I was looking at it too. But he was saying he got a three-minute timeout. I can understand like a 60-second timeout. Yeah. So, okay. He's back now. Is he? I don't even know how any you can't ban a moderator anyway unless you're unless you're the manager like like you would be the only one to be able to do it. Uh, I, I gave him know? a wrench to see if maybe that would bring him back into the room quicker. Oh, okay, gotcha. But like I said, you did, I, I couldn't find anything either, Stephen. I don't know what it was. 
All right, we're good. Everybody's good now. Back to the drone subject, what we were on. We we're talking about $200 and below. And I don't know what drone you're you're talking about, Stephen. Does it resemble like, what is it, Bayang or whatever? Is it more like a SEMA type drone? Is it uh, XK is like, uh, I can't, WL Toys upper class versions of their drones. <laughs> like if you took w, WL Toys drones and like, do it, do it. <laughs> made them better. You said it was what, a XKX? <laughs> XKX 300. Yeah, I like the XKX 130. It's the one, it's actually got, uh, uh, like acro, it's like a beginner's uh, FPV. Uh, Heath uh, went and reviewed one, and then he turned his. He went and built a whole another frame and put the, uh, you know, made his own uh, homemade quadcopter out of it, out of the internal parts. I, I get. I guess the most distinguishable feature of the XKX three hundred um, would be it's got an optical flow sensor on the bottom. But it's uh, about the size of a, you know, a, a, a little bigger than a 250 size. Oh, okay. Wow. The 250 is yeah. really nice, too. These little toys with optical flow on them are going to catch up fast. And but, I'm but, but I'm going to have to say XK had had that first on their toy because the, the XK has been out a while, the X300. As a matter of fact, they just put out a GPS version, I guess, to match all these other toy toy drones. But uh, So imagine that. You got GPS and optical flow on the bottom, but you're still paying, like, uh, brush toy drone prices. I'm looking at it right now on Amazon. Just real quick, if I can get wife. Oh, okay, I remember. Yeah, I know what this one is. Yeah, that's a pretty nice bird right there. And I, I mean, I did flips in my living room in front of the mm -hmm. in front of the fireplace. <laughs> I, it's I don't I don't have it list as a listed video, but I can I can make it that way if anybody's interested. I mean, it, it really I just sat there and just flipped it. Yeah, they're sitting here. Uh, they're talking about uh, versus the Hubson H five hundred one S on this Amazon site. I mean, it's got a 15-minute battery, and it's a toy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's was is that Wi-Fi FPV on it? Yeah, Wi-Fi camera. <clears throat> yeah, I have I have just the, the plain Jane version that, that mm -hmm. just records, and the camera no jello at all on the camera, no <laughs> jello cool. at all, and it's, it's a actually camera inside. Oh, it's, oh. I'm sorry, Stephen. Go ahead. No, I was just saying no jello at all, and um, actually it has. Dan. <laughs> what are you uh, laughing actually, about? <laughs> I'm getting Dan with the Darth Vader is in the smoke. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. That's why when he did it a minute ago, I was presenting. And I was doing. I was doing this. <laughs> uh, I just tried his face straight, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> Oh, um, and, and, and then John was asking him, he's like, does he have THC in that vape? And I was like, no. <laughs> Hell no. no he's running straight nitrous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hippie crack. <laughs> I love the hippie crack. Straight nitrous. Anyway, anyway, in my opinion, that's a good starter bird if you don't push him towards brushless. I, now, now, I've been hit by the bugs, too. Granted, it's a brushless motor and it stings, but it's not like, you know, I'm sure the damage like a solo motor or a phantom motor would do. Good Lord, that cut your fingers right off. Yeah, but it's like I said, I've been smacked by, by bugs, too. And granted, it stings, but I think you could live through it. I've not been cut or anything like that, so... I haven't been honored in your uh, situation yet, but I'm sure someday when I'm hand launching and catching, I'm sure I'll probably get a sting. Well, basically what it was, was I was, I was so used to like a DJI product that when you dropped off the sticks, it would like stop like on a dime, you know? 
as opposed to when you're flying the bugs too, and it'll coast for, you know, 10 or 15 yards and then lock in, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and I, I was more used to doing it the other way. And so when I was bringing the bugs in, I was bringing it in like I was used to bringing in the Phantom or the Spark and it just kept on coming. And so I didn't want it to hit the glass window and I went smack. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so yeah. it hit the ground and shut down. Yeah, I'm still I'm still too lazy to build legs for the bugs too when I got the action camera on there. So I still just catch it and launch it by hand. Wait a minute. Oh, he's got the bugs three. What is he doing here? What? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had thought about doing that. Like taking the blue and the black and mixing them together on mine. <laughs> John said, Dan, I am your father. I know I like this guy right here. My master. What? Did Steven do that? Who did that? Do you oh, honestly Dan. think I could fly this around my house in FPV? Yes, do it. You think so? Do it, Dan. No, I got Oh, I know you can. Idea. I have an even better idea. Fly it in your roommate's room. FPV. Uh, yeah, he's he's uh, currently a roommate of rehab. Um, oh, yes, <laughs> not not with me anymore. Okay. Uh, <laughs> choices. Oh, wow. I, I I seriously think you could FPV oh. the the FPV a chunk out of your TV or something. With All right, give me one sec. I am gonna try to. Hey button. Bill. Hey. Hey Bill. Yeah. Hey, can you uh can you get uh, RC Hunter in? Can you shoot him a we're, a link. Was he wanting to come in? I think he wants to take a peek with us. All right, hang on, hang on a second. Uh, hey, Dan, you can FPV uh, some a new can of paint into your house that you got to report place <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> I FPV everything. I put it on the dog's collar. I put it on everything, man. Put it on the neighbor's car and see where they go. No. <laughs> And, and I honestly don't know how you got away with it with getting hit by the bugs and 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 not at least cut open. Oh man, the bugs still got to be. You can still get cut open if you get hit, if you get hit right. Because I've been I've been hit by one of the sky viper, freaking what is it called the sky viper two? Wait wait, are you ready, Dan? Fifty pro or whatever. It was. Kill something in my house, but we're gonna give her a go anyways. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going. Sweet. It's because I'm crazy and don't care. Full live FPV. <laughs> All right, focus on Dan. See if you can put the screen on Dan for a minute. Yeah, I'll let you know when I whack into something really hard. <laughs> Getting out of here is gonna be rough. This is not the best door to try to fit out of. The key word. Can you say it again? Whacking. <laughs> I suppose I should probably uh, <laughs> record this, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Rather you destroy, destroy property or not, it'll be great. We're not going to be able to see the crashes. No, but I will, I will upload this the wall. after. There's I will upload part. this right after. Oh, you, need a, you need a partner to, to follow you around with your, uh, with your Wi-Fi cam up there. <laughs> okay. You say crashes as if it would be plural. No, there's only one crash for that thing. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be it. Oh, no, that's loud. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that did not work out as planned. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Gruesome, Dan. Okay. We're going for it again anyways. Grow them. Grow them. Make them big. Not working. God, it's low. All right. Well, at least you <laughs> tried, man. That's that's all that matters. That's, uh, maybe if I take it in the other room instead of trying to fit through this little doorway thing, it may be a little better for me. me that would suck if someone was coming in last second and all said, don't go. <laughs> well, this is a lot of power to have inside the house. This is not oh, majorly. I was, I was that, I was waiting. that backwash from the from the propeller's got to be killer too. Just being in a smaller spot like that. Oh yeah, I I was just waiting to hear. Hi Dan, are you home? Oh mom, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. 
This just is going to end bad. I just know. Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Did you get a hold of Heath yet? Yeah, okay. I've seen the link. He's seen the link. Okay. He didn't okay. go. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, yes. This is a very big bird to be flying around in the house. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Ah. Oh. Oh, I knew it. God. Sounds like I'm... you're in a lumber mill or something. You're cutting wood. Yeah, this is not working. <laughs> 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 hey, you can't say I didn't try. <laughs> Love FPV, man. I'm like whacking it at walls and stuff with a big ass quad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm moving out in a few days. <laughs> Slices in my wall. Gonna <laughs> be all stuck in the wall, like you're throwing a ninja star or something. You should fly in your roommate's room. That way, you don't have to worry about the wall. <laughs> Hey, it happened before you went in rehab, dude. I don't know what you're on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. When we lost the bottom piece. And we got some good dings in the props now. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I called it. It's definitely not a micro whoop. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, I, it was cool. Yeah, it was cool that you tried, though. I mean, where else... Or are you going to get live FPV FPV? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this is definitely an outside quad, that's for sure. Now, you can do it with the Bebop 1 now because it's it's meant to be able to play inside. Yeah, you just well, you just got to get the goggles that they come with. Nah. Blue I, can tooth goggles. I can fly it to the house inside my room here. You're still going to do it? Hey, he's like biting. He's like biting on the propellers, like straightening out with his teeth and shit. That, that, that's pimp. <laughs> that's pimp. <laughs> no, no, no. We're done. We're we're done with that big quad trying to. Okay. Play. Yeah, I'm good. This is not going well. <laughs> Yeah, Tommy Drone just made it in. Uh, he'd been kind of busy tonight, and yeah, so he he dropped in for a minute. Uh, Herb Flying High is checking out. He's got some other stuff to do. Uh, John said, "Did you cut off an ass cheek?" Did you cut off an ass cheek? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, no. John challenges you to fly FPV in the room with you with yourself. Oh, don't mess up your poster. Don't do it. Oh, no. I got it. Now the solo next. The flip. <laughs> it's a lot easier in LOS, I can tell you that. So, uh... What? I was waiting on him to do a flip. No. Oh, flip. yeah. I think it's way too close to the bed. I'll oh, probably yeah. kill something in here. I'm down, though. Let's give it a go. That's when you invite the chick from the bar over. <laughs> you think, think we'll do a flip in here? The bed. <laughs> Let's go. Should we go back flip? Yes, yes, yes. This is going to end super uh, bad. Uh, John, John saying, fly the solo in your room, FPV. You won't do it. Oh, it made it! Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised I stuck that, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, enough of that. We're going to break something. Where else are you going to get a 360 flip indoors on a live stream? First time. First time. It's never happened anywhere else. Never happened anywhere else. Now, the solo in acro mode. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> FGV. <laughs> <solo. laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what John was trying to say. He was like, "You won't fly at FPV in the room with you." <laughs> uh, no problem. <laughs> well, I'm crazy though, to a point. <laughs> to a point. <laughs> to a point. <laughs> to a point. Then, then it kind of slows down. Mm. 
And these big batteries. Yeah, these power batteries big. Dun, 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 Okay. So, update. I made it past my shoes, by the front door, came <laughs> back around, saw the big glass window I was heading towards, diverted into the wall of the kitchen. No, no. No, okay. No, burn it. Burn Good it. Lord. Burn that stupid thing. <laughs> hey, Ryan, let me win this. So I'm happy. And Burn. it's got an aftermarket battery in it, so it's Burn. kind of modded. Burn it. Get rid of the speaker you, and Santa and the cover and put the FPV camera on it. Are you screwed? Is that the problem? You're screwed. Dude, take yep. that stupid Lego Santa off there and put something badass like Batman or something. Yeah. There we go. Like Batman. I don't have, if I had a Lego Batman, I'd put him on there. Good Lord, I got them all here. My kid's got them all. Your kid has a ball. Nope. He has all those Lego guys, man. Yeah, Superman. I, I, I got them all. You, what, you send me Batman, I'll send you Santa Claus. And he has oh. a oh. <laughs> I'm good. Like I said, you send me Batman, I'll send you Santa Claus. I don't want all a right. phone. And wait, wait, wait. You send me the you see yes oh yes. oh two hats oh, it's totally Ooh. worth the deal now yeah yeah you yeah. might yeah. throw a second hat in it there like, it's don't coming forget to get my comb you won't take off I don't have a battery in it. Huh. It's Wait, got a bad good excuse. Oh, you'll th yeah, I will take off. What the hell? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that'll feel really good. Uh, mm -hmm. where am I? <laughs> that is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now my pillow left off. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly my... Uh, my C Max 20 live right now. No, I wouldn't do it. And I took off my head. Oh, Steven's going live. Everybody hears it? That's how live I get it right now. You hear it? You hear it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going. Are you still hear it? There we go. There we go. Slide around. Excellent. Oh, you want, you want to hear an expert landing? Here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm getting there close. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Oh, that's asking a lot, John. I don't know if I can pull that one off. I got what, what are we pulling off? Cone shaped head. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm driving the zombie off my head, guys. Yes. Ready? Yes. Drive the zombie right off. Right off the noggin. Go. Get rid of that three hairs I have left on top of my head. Yo, who sent that to you? I got to get my hands on that thing. Gearbest.com. Oh, yeah. Gearbest won't even deal with me. Oh, they love you. They love yeah. you. I'm too honest with them. Can't you see? I have 4,000, <laughs> almost 4,200 subscribers. That's a, that and sounds it sounds like me with RC Moment. <laughs> yeah, RC Moment doesn't deal with me either. They, they don't like like me after the SEMA uh, X8 Pro very much. I, I have that feeling. You, you, you cover our product shitty. You get no more. Well, I guess I should have went on there and said, it's such a great quad, guys. Please, buy. Buy from this link. See? And that's one thing I've never done on my channel. Nope. I set out I because I got tired of all the faults. You your on your channel? Huh? Oh, no, go ahead. What? You've never done one on your channel? No, I've never thrown a review out the window. I've always said what I thought, and uh, I don't care if they like it or not. You know. Yep, me too. Me too. I think that's why RC Moment is is not wanting to have much to do with me. But I really don't care. I'm going to tell everybody the honest truth. The thing's a pile of crap. Yep. <clears throat> At some point, Donnie, your channel will grow to the point where they yeah. can't refuse you because they know you're watched by a lot of people. 
Yeah. And if they want to make money, they're going to have to send you stuff. You'll get to the point where you're like Ali Sham now, like, oh, Hobson, it's a piece of sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been trying for a while. <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> it's smaller than. Oh, my God. Where, where the hell is it going? Did I tell you all that way? Oh, my God. <laughs> Return the home. Return the fuck away. <laughs> that was me. You sure that wasn't me chasing after the X8? <laughs> that's what I'm like, but that's how he does it. He's like, where the hell is it going? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I'm going to carry a baseball bat with me. I'm going to keep a – I'm going to carry a baseball bat with me. So every time it tries to fly away or comes at me, I can at least swing at it. No, no. I think I, I've got an idea of what I want to do when things suck on my channel. I hate to do it because I do want to give stuff away, but damn, man, do I want to bash things up with a baseball bat yep. and just play some really slow music while I just swing this bat like a psycho <laughs> with a GoPro on the ground next to it. Just I can think of a drone I'd like to nominate to be the first one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, right, right. If, we, if we can yeah. just obtain it. Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, I like to see, see it fly. I like to see fly it getting hit. Get, I'm, t I'm telling you, I got this great idea. Get Ron uh, some some wrestling tights and boots, uh, and, and and then give him like a fake hair and beard, and give him a <laughs> give, give him a, uh, a a board like a two by four. Say, who are we trying to make catfish? Hey, so Jim Duggan smashes the. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> we can call him the Drone Later. <laughs> You got to do the tongue. <laughs> can be wrong the drone later. He will bash things with his board. <laughs> be like like I was talking about with the drone busters. Instead of flying it at, towards a brick wall, we can fly it towards him with the board and he can just go It's a drone. Get down. Everybody get down. It's a drone. Yeah. <laughs> or then we can say it's out of here. I just want to do the scene. <laughs> From Inglorious Bastards with Ron dressed like Bam Bam. Oh my god. Stuff. And just be like, do you know what we do to drones that suck? <laughs> <laughs> he just walks along with his bat, like dragging it across the train wall. <laughs> and he comes out dressed like Bam Bam from Flintstones and just starts cracking the drone. Bam Bam! <laughs> Imagine what we'd like to have dressed in huge loincloth, you know? Loincloth. Yeah. Oh my god. No, I don't want to imagine that. I don't want to imagine the loincloth. <laughs> Please. If I imagine too hard, I might go blind. Yeah. We call him Bam Bam. Yeah. Let me show you why. The drone basher. Oh wow. Well. Beat the Santa drone, RC Fun said. Beat down that Santa drone. Yeah, yeah. Right now. You won't do it, Bill. No, I won't. You're right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Exactly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Headbutt it right into the table. No. <laughs> you, you, these are great things for when the grandson comes over and he's kind of having a bad day and grandpa's not his favorite person. Uh, put in a battery and Santa comes out and he's like, you're the greatest guy in the world, grandpa. And then he goes, he goes, can we burn it, please? <laughs> no, he never says that. <laughs> Or at least he doesn't say it out loud. He doesn't say it out loud. Oh, man, what was I thinking of? Oh, I still got to oh. do a report. You still got to do a report? Yeah, I still got to do my whole report for the night, and then I got to somehow manage to take time to go take this thing out tonight and do the bed. Actually, you know, I'll just put it off till tomorrow. <sighs> hey, your, your flight or, or your uh, report? No, the report has to be done. <laughs> you put the report off. I don't think you should put the flight off because I'm really curious to see what that big battery is going to do, especially with you at the helm. <laughs> Dude, I was zigzagging in between trees. Just, mm, mm, mm. I was pushing it hard. I handled it. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to have a problem charging a second time after it was discharged so low. I mean, I didn't wear it out. It didn't start beeping until after I got home with it and pulled it out in the driveway to play with it again today. As soon as I plugged in, it started beeping. So apparently I ran it down to its complete extent last night. Yeah. But that's cool. 
I just know my feet hurt. I stood there so long. I was like, okay, <laughs> it's a problem. My feet never hurt when I fly the drone because nine minutes with the solo and I've got all the footage I need. I'm done. All right. Well, guys, uh, I'm really grateful and I'm glad that we got Donnie's public service announcement in. But I need to take a shower and spend some time with the wife. But yep. I'm sure, I've got to get going too. Well, but I'm sure that Dan's probably going to maybe do something on his channel. I'm not 100% sure. You're more than welcome to check with him. Are you going to do something on your channel, Dan? No, man. I've got too much to do, honestly. All right. Well, it sounds like we're all going to wind it up tonight. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Merritt, for coming in tonight. And hey, helping no us out issue. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And maybe you'll come back and help us out next week. Don, Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. That's great. And, Donnie, I'm very grateful that you came in and you helped us out. And you got to do your public service announcement for the semen tonight. And, you know, we got well, – I think we need to get Billy into flying some more varied drones. Granted, yeah. I, I love DJI products. I'm not going to deny that. But I also love flying all the other drones like you guys do too. So I think we need to stay on his ass and get him to flying some more stuff a little bit more. And I think everyone just needs to buy a Solo. So there you go. <laughs> cool. What about it was an honor, gentlemen. An honor <laughs> talk with everybody and being on the show. Appreciate it, Bill. Yeah, no problem, Donnie. We, we hope that you'll come and chat with us some. I wish we could have gotten Heath in here. I don't know. Yeah, what he said he couldn't get on. We'll, we'll he figure had a problem. Out. We'll figure something out in the future. But like I said, I, I want to go hang out with the wife and do some stuff. And I got to get get up real early and work with my clients and stuff. Anybody that knows me knows that oh, yeah. another business on the side. I'm grateful for everybody here. Thank you very much. Uh, anybody that's interested in a, in being a guest here on the show, get a hold of me, get a hold of Dan, get a hold of Steven, get a hold of Billy, get a hold of John, and we'll get back with you and see if we can't get you on as soon as possible. And not, not a lot of questions tonight, actually, believe it or not. Well, it was it was actually pretty cool. Everything, we, we really covered a lot. We got into the chat when we needed to and recognized everybody. Oh, one more quick shout-out. I don't know if everybody – has noticed or not, uh, Mr. E-Drone, Eric, is very yes. close to getting his build done. So if you haven't been checking it out, make sure you go to E-Drone 09 channel, check his channel out, and check out his build. Uh, I want to make sure I gave him another shout-out. He's been trying to, to talk us up and stuff, too, when we're doing stuff. So get over there if you're interested in FPV flying and maybe building your own drone. And check out his channel. He's got it all set up to where... I think he's done with the build, and he's about to go into actually programming the flight controller and stuff. So it's a good time to jump in there. So anybody want to go for it, Dan or Donnie? I, I just want to tell everybody, if you want to figure out how to do the freeze frame, anybody can contact me if they like. I'll show you how to freeze frame on the on the <laughs> Internet. So. <laughs> Thank you very so, much. So. Big Dan, you got anything? Good, Dan. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait. He's in freeze frame. He's in Donnie mode. <laughs> yep. Uh, anything you got, Steven? I'm the master. Though. Thanks, Bill. Uh, you got it, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Steven, Dan, Bill, have a good night. Later, brother. Peace, be See you, everybody that showed up. Thanks, everybody.